Sorry guys, uh... Facebook shut me down. Eight hours is all I get. Wasn't paying attention to that. Either way, I would have had to reboot. had some a lot of viewers yeah what so we're up to 42 right now but it's climbing we were over 200 but nice. like i said uh facebook shut me down after eight hours so now i rebooted sorry guys uh i got tim tons with me here in the booth can wait till uh yeah the viewers start climbing climbing up here looks like uh mario's gonna pull this one off here yeah i that happened. I didn't see his break. It was a pretty good break. Did I, he have I a? I did not. I just walked oh, over okay. here and I did. All I saw was it was four four Mario shooting. Jesse had a good good opportunity to get out and he hooked himself oh, on wow. the on the eight ball. Wow, to win the match. Yeah, to win the match, and then Mario, Mario. gets it and breaks and runs out. Wow, wow, wow. Yep. Yeah, what do you do? That's a tough yeah. one. That's that's what'll happen when you're not playing a lot, and Jesse hasn't been playing a lot. Yeah. The uh, so Jesse's out of the tournament. So how many tables you guys have over for Star? Um, we have. Well, I don't have, but Nate has. He purchased four. Yep. Four new ones, black diamonds, and then uh, he had the one, which I think is your old one. Yep. So he's got five, seven, five, seven and then the one nine-footer, which is your old nine-footer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. so he's got six tables up there. Well, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a mastermind or anything. <laughs> Someday you'll get a moment from me. Don't worry. So yeah, you're correct. Uh, we have six six tables there. Nice. So it's in his warehouse space upstairs. Obviously, you know, uh, or maybe you don't. Yeah, yeah you you do. yeah you set up I, two of them, right? I moved the one nine foot from one side of the building to the other side of the building. Yeah. That couldn't and have been easy. it's a one-piece slate. We had to wench it down the stairs. Oh, so you just didn't put it on your back and oh, walk I'll down the stairs? What, I'll tell you what. Um, and then after we get it moved out of there, he told me, oh, yeah, we're going to be putting a door over here. And they could have forklifted it. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice of him. Oh, uh, Nate. <laughs> no, it's a... Uh, I love the setup over there. It's nice. Wide open. Oh my gosh. Lighting. Vaulted ceiling. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's excellent. He's going to have to shut it down, you know, in the summer because that's when he gets a bit more busy. Yeah. But that's fine. Yeah. You're not getting a lot of pool players. In no, he's, you know, he, you know, in our area, it's been kind of tough on pool halls, but, uh, yeah. you know, he's starting out kind of slow to see how it goes, draw, yeah. you know, get a following and see what happens. That's awesome. So, so far, it's working pretty good. That is really good for the area because look at the, you know, I mean, reaction, all, all the players you're getting for these weekly tournaments. Right. It's, it's just one day a week. Yeah, he's just doing Monday night Monday events. Night tournaments. Yeah. yeah. I was watching last night, or last Monday, and uh, watching Mike Lowe play in the finals. Against, yeah. Who was the, the guy? Um, he played uh, Nate, Nate Jackson is his name. Is he a local guy? Local though? guy, yep. yep. Okay, because he played pretty good, and he I've, did. I've never seen him shoot before. Right, he's kind of a lower rated player, I would say. He and played he just, good. Yeah, he stepped up and just played good that night. Yeah, he, he, uh, and he was an alternate. Yeah. Comes in and exactly. gets into the finals. Right. That's awesome. Worked out good for him. Sweet. So I think uh, Rich is going to call Rob Matson and Danny Olson on this table. I don't 
Not sure when. It's probably no rush to call it because winner or loser is going to wait a while. Uh, looks like Rob's going to the table. Yeah. Look, he's calling his agent. He's on the table getting the. Uh, oh, oh, he's trying to shift that. You see how it's off? Yeah, yeah. He wants to fix it before his match. Yeah. He's trying to get it there. See that top uh, side pocket's yeah, a little it, off. It's actually still off. It didn't move. You must, they must have this, the rails down kind I think of tight. I better get two, over there and two, shift it. Two guys can do it. Well, I think I'd probably do it by myself. I just need a bigger guy. No, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to throw my arm out. i got to play baseball this summer. Yeah, there you go. You can uh, go over there and try it. Still, uh. Play. Still doing that, huh? Trying. Yep. Fun, huh? It is fun. I'll tell you what. I played. Uh, I played softball two summers ago, and uh, they put me in the outfield. And did you ever play any ball in your oh, in I your played, life? I played yeah. a lot of softball. Oh, okay. So I I have played a lot, but been I haven't a, been a while. ran for a long time, and like my legs were. Shot. So shot, yeah. and then when I got after about half the season, I, I my legs got in a lot better shape, but still it was just too much. For, yeah, for me at my age, I'm like, old, yeah, shock, old, shock old, old guys don't need to be in the outfield, right? You know, you should so, be at first base or yeah, ca catching, exactly. right? Exactly. So, but it was fun. I had a good time with these guys. And, Played one summer with a bunch of young guys, and I said, oh, "Yep, I want. I really wanted to get back into playing, but then I'm like realizing <laughs> so um, did, it's been ten years since I played last time." And so, did you still turn singles into doubles and doubles into triples? Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I got caught a couple times thinking I was faster than I was. <laughs> Throwing out as long as you don't pull a hamstring or something. Yeah, no, I know that's the whole thing. But I, I did kind of hurt my knee for a little bit, and I sat out a few games, and it got better. And I tried it again, and I'm like, I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> After the season was done, I'm like, that's it. So let's talk about uh, your tournament here. I know you're probably not real happy about it. Let's see if I can find you where you started today. There you are. Yeah. You got TJ first round five to three. Yeah. We That's both we both actually did not play great, and uh, it was really weird because um, I was up four to three, and I was running out, and I got a little bit. Um, I had a a shot that had to go by the eight ball, and the eight ball was in the jaw of the pocket. I shoot the ball to go by the eight, and the it catches the eight, and they both jam up in the pocket, okay? Uh -huh. So he has a tricky run out to make it hill hill, and he runs out all of his solids, and the eight ball doesn't go by my stripe. He looks at it, looks at it, he thinks it goes by it, and he hits it, and they both jam up again. Uh -huh. So it's a valley, and both balls were won't go in it, they jam up it so was it was like that well typically and typically two, two won't, balls yeah you think the, it would go the, in yep the the other pocket it two balls go in this particular one is just cut a little it different it, it, <laughs> yeah so um i got i got pretty lucky to beat him and yeah. then um and, and then uh then you had danny olson i played danny and then you guys saw that on the live stream and you know you know he's a tough player. And, yeah. And I I really haven't been able to put the time in to 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 get to a high level and and it kind of showed a little bit there. I was a little bit all over the place and stuff. But uh, it was fun. I I had a chance to to make it three three. I believe it was. I think that was the game where I had to shoot behind, come off the end rail, bump the eight ball, and 
then I had oh, my, I remember my strike that actually, was yeah. tied up, and I had that was my last ball, and I tried bumping the eight. Yeah, you just and I didn't bump it hard enough, and I still kicked the fifteen in, but then I had no shot on the eight, and I think that was gonna make it three to three there. It was, it was a big game, and then after that, I I still had another nice shot I get out on a table broke out a ball and then I just overcut a ball and mm -hmm. lack of you know you know competition you know when you're playing real good players like that right it's uh it's really you know, I, I haven't hardly played any tournaments lately so it's okay. a, little, a lot more pressure on you and stuff yeah like that I started getting more comfortable and then I then I had played junior the third match and then like you got I, your 5-4, five, five, huh? I did. I had a chance to run out. I was running out, and I actually... Hill, hill. Hill, hill. My ball before the eight was tied up again, and the third ball before the eight, I got on a line. I make it to get back in the line for my second ball before the eight to break it out, and I break it out. I didn't hit it how I wanted to, but I still had a really easy shot on the the ball before the eight, he called the ref over, and the ref watched it. It was a really easy shot, <laughs> and I just doinked it right into the rail. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I it was, I I was just disgusted, but mm. yeah, that's the way it goes. I, yeah, you know, but yeah, kind of had a tough draw, but yeah, yeah, that's I tough. had a chance to win two of the three matches, so right, right. Well, you've done well in this tournament over the years. Yeah, it's been been fun. Yeah, on to the nine ball nine ball tomorrow, huh? Yep, yep, it'll be fun. So I, you're. I, uh, I play a lot of rotation, so I I love the games. So. Yeah, and you're coming to Mankato to play, Mr. Yeah. Jay Zender. Yep, that'll be a fun match. Monday, huh? Yeah, yep. that should be nine, fun to watch. On the nine foot little eight ball on the nine foot. I don't think Jay plays that often, you know. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Obviously, still, you're used to the, it's your table, right? Your old table. Yeah, my old table. So I'm, I'll, I'll feel pretty comfortable on it. Yeah. Um, I don't think it'll remember you though. Yeah, it's tight. <laughs> it's tight. It is a tight table. It's tight. It's, it's not. Uh, it's, it's about a four and an eighth inch pocket. Yeah, it's I measured. Tight. It was like four and an eighth plus yep. maybe on it's a couple a, of them. It's, a, it's, yeah, it's about four and three sixteenths. What, what the table is. So but play the speed and the rails just play excellent though. It is. It's a beautiful table. Yeah. So the um, yeah, that'll be fun. I, Great. I well, he's got a nine footer in his basement. He, so, he does. I mean, he. You know, He'll be practicing. A lot of these guys say they don't play at all. But, right. <laughs> you know. He'll be up for that match, yeah, don't up, I guarantee you, he's he's not gonna um, come unprepared. I'll uh, I'll be streaming it so yeah, it'll be fun. I'm I'm excited. I haven't uh, I haven't even ran into Jay for years. Yeah, so. just a fun match. Yeah, yep. I mean, he used to be a great player back in the day, and right. I see you know business and priorities with kids and stuff changes your life, and yep. you know, and he's doing the right thing. You know, he's taking care of business and family first. Right. You know? Right. So. Uh, so what did, did you uh, switch back to a Revo shaft? Is that what people were telling me on this? Yeah, I have a Revo. I have a Od um, Odin. I have an Odin shaft too, but I use that just for breaking. Oh, I see. I did. I did get an Odin for to shoot shooting, with, oh. but I've always had a, a Z shaft before I went to carbon fiber. Yeah. And the Z shaft um, doesn't hardly deflect. At all, right? The Odin has just a slight thick bit of deflection. I mean, okay. it's it's super slight. It's a it hits super awesome. It's mm -hmm. quiet. It's got a thicker wall. It plays great. Mm -hmm. The feel of it is amazing. Mm -hmm. But it has a little bit of deflection. And if I didn't already have a Predator with lower deflection. I would have stayed with it. Okay. And I didn't even allow myself to get adjusted. I just went out and got a Revo, and then I made that my brake shaft. And then it it's a great brake shaft too. Yeah. Um, I would I would suggest shooting with it 
because if someone is interested in carbon fiber, that is a great shaft. Um, the only um, the thing for me, it's got a, a slight bit of deflection, and I'm really picky about my equipment. Yeah. And so, and I've I've already got used to the the Predator. So the Revo I have is 11.8. It I mean it it hardly deflects at all. Okay. And I and I like it. And I really like the carbon fiber. My favorite part about carbon fiber shafts are you can, like, when you rack the balls, you can reach down the table with your shaft and slap the ball down table. Yeah, and don't worry about I love that. And then they, they don't get dirty. You can wipe them off. So that's, um, that's your number one, what you like about them. Well, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the ease of use and cleaning. Right. Um, and then the yeah. you know you can do they're they're durable yeah and then uh you know i always was kind of picky about my shaft getting dirty with a wood shaft always cleaning it right sanding it yeah I'm, it i was con- constantly sanding and i get sick of it yep and then it looks like crap after a few years of getting dirty so right. then it and it never really comes clean because really you're sanding off the protective yep. layer yeah <laughs> So I think, uh, you know, definitely carbon fiber. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, uh, Odin shafts are really good. Um, and, and another uh, local guy is TNT. Okay. And, you know, Brad Vollmers has the Odin shaft, and they're yeah. great shafts. Tom at TNT in St. Paul there, they got, they, they build my shafts too. Okay. And they just changed their name, didn't they, to like Twin City Billiards? Is it? Yeah. I, I did not know I think that they happened. just changed it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But we have a local guy, Roger Sward, who's one of the sponsors too here. Uh, he's he's making his own carbon fiber as well. But, mm-hmm. but I would like to try out one of those Odin. If I start shooting a little more because we got nice tables in Mankato again. Yeah. I might think about that. Right now I have a Q-Tech carbon fiber. Yep. It still has like a real tingy sound to it. It kind of bothers me a little bit. If I got the money, you know, maybe I'll spend it on something a little, just yep. feels and sounds a little better. Yeah, yeah. But I like the smoothness of it and the less uh, the less um, maintenance you have on it, like you yeah, said. Yeah, it's nice. And, you know, they all hit pretty good. The, the I, I guess the one with... The one negative I would say about the Revo, it's a little more tangy. Yeah. But they did correct that with a like a white little volt plate. Oh that, really? That kind of helps with that. Yeah. Um, I know it's not as tangy as my original 12.4, but um, you know once you you get adjusted to it, it, it really right. bugged me at first because I'd be playing at home. And I'll have a quiet room, and yeah. you put a lot of spin on the ball, left or right, English or draw, and it goes tink yeah. like a base, like a baseball bat, right, know, right, with you know aluminum bat or something. It just has a weird sound, and it's hard to get. It's weird when yeah. you first adjust to it, but like Volmer's cues, uh, his got a thicker wall, and right. they're they they sound like a wood shaft when you hit draw on yeah. stuff. It's kind of a picky thing, but you know, us yeah, cool players are pretty. It's picky. all. It's all. You know, one thing works for you, one thing works for me. You know? Right. It's. It is funny how some people pick up on certain things, and it drives them nuts about some things. Yeah. You know. But yeah. So, so this match here looks like it's actually Hill Hill right now. John Fields is on the table. Oh, okay. The names are incorrect, obviously, on the scoreboard here, but. This is John Fields from Wisconsin. He's playing Nick Marsalek. Yep, Nick's been playing real good. He's uh-huh. been he went hill hill with Danny Olson today. And okay. He beat, he beat uh, a couple other good players too. Where is he here? The tournament. There he's down here, but he yep. must have been on the top side. Yep. Yeah, he he's uh, he's definitely capable. He plays he yep. plays he plays a lot. Loves the game. John is at the table. It's kind of tough. I believe he's on solids. Hitting this three ball. I don't know if he's running into that four or six. You can see it on the screen a little better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he just nudged an eight to the rail there, and I, it's tough to tell. Obviously, we're like 70 feet away here. Yeah. That was, uh... 65.5 feet to be exact. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. 
<laughs> so the, that John plays plays pretty good. I, I yeah. personally don't know him. I've heard he's a real good player. Yeah, he's like a 700, just just barely over 700 Fargo rate. Okay, gotcha, yeah. So he's strong. Yep, yep. He, uh, he come here to play, and uh, McGrath played him first match, I think, and, and beat him like five two or three or something like that and uh yeah he did actually he goes he goes uh yeah someone said who'd you just play he goes oh some guy i don't know some guy from wisconsin <laughs> <laughs> didn't even know yeah he's like oh huh. john fields or something yeah but uh yeah so tells yeah. you how tough this tournament I'll, is you know I, I'll, I'll, i've played some pretty good matches against some really good players not knowing who they are right <laughs> you exactly know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, and, and, it happens yeah. at some point in your life, yeah. especially when you're up and coming player. You don't know who these guys are. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe you know a few that you've been watching, but yeah, yeah. And, and you're just so fearless too. You know, you're just like right. you know. But yeah, yep. Yeah, it's a great game. You know, it's a it's a fun. This tournament is a, a blast. And uh, yeah, I've, I've played. Yeah, how, it. I've how long played have you been playing in it? I. I think I've been playing in this tournament for, well, actually, I've, I've played in this from when I was, uh, oh, I would say about 16 years old, and uh, uh, 34 years about, but uh, I, I actually pl started out in a local tournament, played in that, and then, um, you know, about 20 two or 23 i jumped up to the open tournament okay and uh i had i i the rules for the local tournament is if you win the local tournament um he's gonna looks win. Like, looks, looks like john's like gonna get out here john's gonna win here yep. hill hill yep good match nick 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 played pretty pretty good yeah so we, oh, that's not the picture I wanted. But anyways, while you're talking about your history, yeah, yeah. here's pictures I took of the. Oh yeah, yeah. So champions plaques. Your name's probably on there. Yeah, uh, 1990. So it starts from here and just goes. Yep. Four was the first year I won it, and uh, I played uh, Johnny Meyer in the finals, and uh, I play. I started in the. I think that was the first year I played in the, the open tournament, and uh, I played. Um, that was the first year, huh? And you I, and it, you won it. I, I I believe so, and so I remember it because uh, I was in a casino tournament, and I was signed up with Seco all three events: the local and the eight ball open, nine ball open. I had. Uh, I was signed up for all three events, and I played Seco in the casino tournament a couple weeks before the tournament. And a I, casino stop? A casino, one of the casino stops. I beat Seco in the casino tournament, and he comes to, to up. To win it? Or just in to, a... No, not to win it. Just I in ju the bracket? I just beat him in the, I just beat him in the bracket. Yeah. He comes up to me and gives me the $20 back for the local open turn the local tournament he goes you're too good to play in the old uh, local <laughs> tournament i go well the rule is you didn't you you, you got to win it twice no nope, you're too good and, <laughs> and, and i go okay well and then i come in and i you win it i win this tournament but uh i was uh yeah yeah so um yeah so um yeah it was it was pretty cool so i at the time, uh, uh, Derek McMath, I, I was the second yeah, youngest player. You're up there again on 2013. Yep, I was the second youngest player in the tournament. Derek McMasters was like two years younger than me. At like 21, I was 23, you know. And at that time, Derek, Derek was playing really well. He ended up winning the tournament a number of times. He, uh, he won it uh, two or three times at least. Yeah, he's He's down right here. Yeah. Two thousand one. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get back I thought he was gonna get in. There was a spot open and he and yeah. he mentioned he wanted to play, but then uh he uh someone else got in for him this this year. 
And he's he's one of them players that, I mean, he 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 don't pick up a cue for a year. He it's can like still, riding, it's like riding a bike. He can still play with anyone. You know? Yeah, it's uh, it's a good tournament. A lot of good players. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The um, they got to be getting ready to play this match. Huh? Uh, I would think so. Is this is a driver's seat match. Yeah, it is. This is a driver's seat. Okay. Cool. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. If you want to keep hanging out here. Sure. Sure. Need some help. Ben, Ben, you want to grab a set? Got Benton here talking to us too. Yeah. He's, uh, I'll update these guys' Fargo rates on here. Winter side. He's he'll be a good one to bet on tomorrow for nine because he won I think last. Tim's going to take a short break here and come back. I also need to take a short break and come back. Uh, let me see which one is... Uh, take, take that one. Tim will come back. I'll, uh, i got to turn you up here. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, Tony Z coming at you live from Faribault, Minnesota. Uh, so we had an interesting discussion going here, and my curiosity got the better of me. So I I actually went over to the Seco Champions plaque because you can't count. Hey, will you go over there and count how many times Rory has won before I share this information? All right. So the the discussion was who has won this tournament the most times. Here is, here, here are my numbers. I'm being argued with in regards to Rory, but <laughs> Rory Hendrickson has won six times. Jimmy Wetch has won six times. Now, I'm going to share these numbers with you. Fix, Greg Fix has won four times. Jesse Engel has won five times. And Gene Albright has won six times. Now, the reason why that discussion took place is because there is, a, there is there's an interesting... Um, dynamic to this there's two discussions first of all who's won this tournament the most times and that's eight ball and nine ball wins it's combined so that was the first part of the discussion and then the second part was greg fix and jimmy wetch were kicked out of this tournament while they were still in their prime they were they were not allowed to play anymore because this tournament reached a point where the pros were dominating so much that they removed them from the tournament. So the discussion was, who has the most wins? Yeah, and and right now it's a tie. Rory, Jimmy Wetch, and Gene Albright. Gene Albright and Jimmy Wetch aren't here anymore. Jimmy Wetch owns uh, Jimmy's Pro Billiards in Columbia Heights, Minnesota. He still plays a little bit, but not a lot. Most of it is just kind of hitting balls, with, you know, just for the fun of the game and stuff. Um, Gene Albright still plays. He's got some health issues now and then. Um, still plays Rory, good for his age. Yeah, absolutely. And Rory Hendrickson is here competing and is still in the tournament. So the part one was who won the most tournaments. Part two was the discussion I initiated. How many times would Jimmy Wetch have won this tournament if he was allowed to keep playing? Yeah. I, I think a lot. A lot, yeah. Yeah, a lot. Maybe, in my opinion, and, and keep in mind, I only know about my era, but the best player that ever has come out of the state of Minnesota, only player that's ever been in the top ten in the world on the Pro Tour, I think his highest ever was number six at the end of the year, 
He was number nine another year. Wasn't he in the ranking? Oh, at, not at the end. At one time he was third, but in the middle of the year. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he had he made runs when it was the Camel Pro Tour. He made runs at it when it was the. So here's an interesting story. I, if, if you don't know my history, most of my pool that I learned came from the Jimmy Wetch stable of players, and that was, you know, Jimmy, Rich Harris, Derek McMasters, uh, Mark Foss, Andy Morris. You know that group of guys. I learned a lot from being around those guys, um, a lot. And I owe a bunch of those guys credit for helping me get to be whatever level of player I got to be. And uh, um, Jimmy, um, I got to see him cycle through different stages. The first one was Jimmy the Gambler. I'm just going to let you know right now that there were people all over the country that thought they were better than Jimmy until they lost all their money to him. Yeah, uh, and Tim, as a matter of fact, and I made a road trip to Kansas City one time. That was yeah. a lot of fun. Tim had oh. more stamina than I did. You managed to watch the whole match with Reed Pierce. Oh my gosh! I slept in the back seat. Re oh, <laughs> you couldn't Jimmy, take it anymore. Jimmy, when he played CJ. Yeah, that yeah. was that was that. Match. That's the best pool I've ever yeah. seen. When it Jimmy, was a, okay. amazing. Um, I, I, the guy just, you know, he, I mean, he was, he wasn't just one of the best players in the Pro Tour. He was definitely the best position player I've ever heard of. But, uh, um, he, you know, he, he was on a level that I don't think we'll ever see again in Minnesota. Maybe, maybe I hope we do. Yeah, he was, he was uh, amazing. And I remember that match. What did they play, 30, okay, 34 so hours? I remember it was, it, was, it was more. So here's what happened. I, I hope Jimmy doesn't mind me sharing my perspective from that story, but I'll share, I'll share as much as I can. And, Jimmy, you'll have to forgive me if you don't like something I say. Uh, so I was very, very good friends with um, at the Jimmy's at that time, the girlfriend, Sherry Martichiski, and I, we were very good friends. We were scotch doubles partners, and Jimmy actually kind of recruited me out of Crown to play scotch with her. And, and so me and Jimmy and Sherry went down to Kansas City for the match when he played CJ. And if you don't know the backstory between Jimmy and CJ Wiley, um, they really didn't care for each other too much when they were younger and as they were up and coming and becoming pros and gambling. And Jimmy spent a lot of time in Texas where CJ's from. So it, that was two bulls that were going to knock heads eventually. That was going to happen. They finally decided they were going to play each other. And honestly, I wasn't sure how that Olathe. was going to go. And they played in Olathe, Kansas at uh, Shooters in Olathe. And uh, so they played. And they played. They played. They started out playing 3,000 a set. And CJ won the first set and was on the hill in the second set. And uh, Jimmy went to the bathroom. And he was a little frustrated. He didn't really care for how the match was going and some things that were going on. And CJ kind of lit the fire, we'll call it. Jimmy got, came all the way back around from, they were playing nine ahead, and Jimmy was down eight, seven, and eight games for a little while. He came all the way back around, won that set, and evened it. And he walked over to me, and he says, are you betting on this match? I said, of course. You know, at that time, Jimmy and I were pretty close. And he says, double your bet. He, I'm caught, he caught gear, yep. and he, he knew it. And so I, was he getting weight at first? No, they played even. They played even. They played even. And, uh, well, what yeah. I remember was he he was, CJ actually was getting his ass handed to him for a while there, and he was so impressed with Jimmy's cue ball. Mm -hmm. But I remember being so impressed with uh, CJ's kicking ability. Yeah. Jimmy would stick him, and, and CJ yeah. would kick balls in left and right it was yeah. an amazing display of pool you had yeah it I, was I, my description of that i agree with you 100 percent. my description was firepower versus control yeah totally. Uh, right. and uh yeah. um so what happens is jimmy gets it back to even he walks over and he says it to me and he knows at that time i was a small time painting business owner he says you got your bet on this i said yeah he says well, i'm doubling my bet double your bet i said really he says yeah i said okay so I doubled my bet, and, Jim, and so they they switched to six thousand a set, and Jimmy just throttled CJ the next two sets. So now Jimmy's up twelve thousand, and um, and and then the hours got ridiculous, and yeah. uh, CJ got his money back in a small amount more, and whatever. Um, there's a lot more details to that story, um, but the bottom line was Jimmy was competing with CJ, who was considered the best. Role money player, player in yeah. the United States, American money player in the United States. If you wanted to get better than CJ, you had to find a Filipino. Yeah. Was at that time was the consensus, and the Filipinos had a stable. They had Andam, Luat, uh, Bustamante, Efren Reyes. 
Jimmy was, after that match, it was clear that Jimmy was one of the top 10 gamblers in the world at Nine Ball. And there wasn't very many guys that wanted to match up with him after that. I don't remember any top player stepping up to play Jimmy for money. It was going to have to be Johnny Archer, or CJ Wiley, or a, a Filipino. You know, there wasn't, certainly wasn't uh, Dennis Hatch or Roger Griffith or any of the guys that were known for gambling at that time. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, that was, um, so, he, I mean, Jimmy was amazing. And had they not removed him, I can only imagine how many of these tournaments he would have won because he, in a very short period of time, he managed to win six. Rory Hendrickson has a chance, if he can win one of these events, to be the all-time winningest player in the Seacoast tournament history. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, and, he I, plays and, good. Yep. I don't believe we'll see Gene Albright. I don't think he's physically ready to compete. I think he's capable, but he's not ready. Yep, yep. Now, Danny uh, Danny Olson here, though, uh, he's a, he's an up-and-comer. I mean, he's, he's a hell of a player, too. He's got a chance to win a lot of these. He's young yet. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this match is uh, Rob just, I didn't see the shot, but I saw he scratched there. So he's uh, looking at a uh, little bit of trouble here right away. It looks like mm -hmm. Danny might get out. He's got to get good on this 14 to, to make the 13 in the corner. All right, I'm back, guys. Did I miss a game? Do we need update nope, score? No, this or? is right. Okay. This is right. Zero, zero? Yep, zero, zero. I Rob. think that uh, this is a good match, Danny and, and Rob. And you know something? Yeah. Danny's from the Dakotas. And although Rob is from Minnesota now, Rob's roots are, are Grand Forks, North Dakota. Danny's very familiar with, with uh, Rob's uh, prime playing years. And D Danny's dad, Dave, yeah. is all, has spent a lot of time around watching Rob win. I think there's a respect level here that might help Rob might be a little bit yeah. of a, a factor but you know at the end of the day danny's been playing all the pros yeah. he's, been a, he's he's, he's just probably a, just he's, fine. he's kind of a machine i yeah. saw him i saw him earlier hill hill against nick marcellic and he executed a, a run out and he had a pretty tricky little breakout he just effortlessly broke everything out how about that cue ball control? yeah what a i mean and he, i i like his game he he you know smooth slow roll stuff i mean he's just uh, very fundamentally sound yeah he's so that's what i see and, and i i just i mean i think it's a little bit crazy smooth rolling slow rolling balls on these valleys because yeah. they, they they have everyone rolls a little bit different you know they're little goofy roll offs here and there well if you're gonna do it Let's face it, if you're going to slow roll a ball on the valley table, you're going to want to do it with a red circle cue ball and not the, yeah. not oh, the valley cue balls. Absolutely. Yeah. This, this cue ball is way better than the valley yeah. ball. Yeah, yeah I, if I'm going to slow roll a ball, I'm going to do it with that. I'm going to do it with that red circle cue ball. But I'll be honest, when I see that cougar on the cue ball, I look for any way I can to not slow roll a ball. Yeah. And I, I'm not criticizing valley or their cue balls. I think they're perfect for this table for yeah. their purpose. You yeah. know, as a vendor, it's a perfect cue ball. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they, they have a habit of, accumulating chalk they have yeah, a habit of yeah. uh if you got the wrong kind of cue ball now you know cue you ball technology to... let's talk about cue ball technology you know a little bit about this i'm assuming uh you you know so they went from putting a plug in these cue balls to now they have a layer of of uh of uh metal For around the, the ground yeah. down object ball and then they have the they have the phenolic resin around the outside of that metal so that that's how that cue ball returns um, they put a magnet inside the cue ball return area, and that magnet pulls that cue ball because it has that layer of metal around the ground down object ball. Yep. That being said, if they get that layer the correct equal thickness around that object ball, then the cue ball rolls more straight than the plug ball. Here's my problem. This is something that they didn't realize. When they put that phenolic resin around that layer of, of uh, metal, to finish the cue ball and they polish it because that layer of phenolic resin is so thin they can't polish it the same way they used to polish the cue balls when they had a plug in them so the pores on the cue ball are more open than they used to be and that's why the chalk sticks to these cue ball the cougar cue balls on yeah. valley tables that's why the chalk sticks to them so much because they have more open pores they're not as smoothly polished as the previous cue balls so that being said 
when you're rolling a cue ball, you don't just have to have a cue ball that'll roll off. You can have a cue ball that has a little bit of chalk on it, and that can affect the, the yeah, direction. Yeah, a little roll. slow inside yeah. spin. Yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I like the Tony Z science guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, I mean, I, I, you know, I was in construction my whole life, and then I went to the pool, the billiard industry, and I learned a lot in a short period of time, and then I decided I belong in construction. I'm not that good at the billiard industry, so I went back to it. But I picked up a few things. And, um, yeah. That was a, look at that break. Huh? Oh, this that eight was, ball. That was, Ooh. That was, uh, yeah, what a shot. That great a, shot. Yeah. Yeah. He's just so smooth. Yeah. He went up. He, he uh, did what he had to do there. I'm impressed. I, I like that, the good. That, like that, was, that was like pinpoint. Like he hit that ball perfectly to get right on the seven to break out the eight. Tim, how many times have you won? Ah, uh, this tournament, I believe wow, three. three. You, missed you guys that. missed that. He, he missed just missed that. the start. I didn't miss that. You, now you're the jinx, Tim. Yeah. yeah. I was the jinx earlier, just so you know. Um, so yes. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I actually think that you winning this tournament three times is pretty freaking impressive. I've always known you as being kind of a blue-collar pool player like me. Yeah. Always working and playing pool. Yeah, Not yeah. a career pool player. We'll call them career pool players. I think they have uh, they have the ability to prepare in a way that we don't. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. so it's it's so tough. We, it's tough because uh, you know, like this Danny Olson now. I mean, this guy plays pool full time. Yeah, I mean he's yeah. he's a uh, he's a. Right. Uh, you said you haven't been playing that that much lately. No, I, I actually or? I have I was uh, I was so busy with a, a I had a rental project I renovated a house and uh the last two months i had to get a renter in january 1st and i've been busting my butt getting this rental done plus pool tables on the side with that i was working till like 10 o'clock at night every night and i barely got everything done to get the renters in yeah. and now i'm like but all of that being said i mean you were a tuck pointer and all that yeah i worked construction was that union yeah, union, union. Union tuck union, pointer. Yeah. And, and you've always had a uh, you've always had a laboring job. Yeah, I've always yeah. worked. Uh, and you've won this tournament three, and, three times. So all of you guys watching the yeah. stream right now and going, oh, the same pros always win and stuff. Nah, knock it off. I won it once, and I was working a difficult job full time. Tim's won it three times. He's always had a blue collar job. Just put your money up there and come on down and play in this tournament well when you enter at 30 sometimes you're gonna win it <laughs> wait a minute because i might have won i might have played as many times as you and i only won once so uh the truth is i've i've knocked on the door several times i've got a few seconds and a few thirds and i uh, man i'll tell you what it's a tough tournament to win and uh yeah so good time uh, the one time i won i clearly dominated against rob Matson. that was a lopsided victory i love to point that out to rob uh, <laughs> yeah yeah, look but, at this, Rob's Rob's uh, Rob's up and shooting. He's got yeah. a nice open table. Yeah. I I like uh, I really like Rob's game. His uh, good, he good is shape there. fast and loose and shooting. Yeah. He uh, is the best. He, he's, he's the best. He's really good. Yep. I uh, I got a Rob Matson story. So Rob said I said to Rob, you know, we were talking about Olathe with Jimmy earlier. Um, I was telling Rob stories about Olathe and all my experiences with Jimmy and stuff. And uh, I said, Rob, you ever been to that tournament before? He goes, no. And I said, well, they used to have a 20,000 added nine ball tournament down there. And I said, Rob, we ought to go to that thing. You go pretty cheap in the Calcutta and we might be able to make some money. He says, well, take me, huh? Okay. So we go all the way down there. And, uh, so Rob plays it. You know, we, we get Rob cheap in the Calcutta. Of course, I go cheap. And uh, so we, uh, um, you know, we're rolling through and he's got a couple matches in and it's the end of the first night of the tournament, and a couple guys want to play. They want to gamble, and Rob says, sure, I'll, you know. So he plays Ike Runnels from Chicago, uh, yeah. $250 nine ball sets on the bar table and wins two sets, and Ike quits. I was like, okay, that's cool, you know. We win a little money off Ike, and then uh, another guy gets up there and plays him, and he wins, some, he wins, it beats that guy out of a couple sets for 300 a set. I'm like, cool, we made a little money, you know. Then this guy that I didn't know, and, you know, obviously I – wish I would have, uh, gets up there and says, hey, I'll play you. What do you guys want to bet? And Rob and I didn't know who he was, and Rob goes, hey, let's just play this guy $300, $400 sets like we have everyone else. I said, sure, why not? So Rob gets up there, and he just throttles this guy, and he, apparently he's from St. Louis, right? 
just throttles this guy. And the guy looks at me and goes, I ain't ever playing that guy again. I said, I was like, well, I don't blame you. <laughs> you know, you just got drilled, right? So I'm walking away, and Jimmy, Jimmy Wetch and uh, um, a guy from Toledo, Ohio, um, uh, Steve McKenich, come over to me, and they said, hey, uh, what just happened over there? And I said, Rob just throttled that guy for 800, 400 to set. And he goes, boy, you made a mistake. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, that's Andy Quinn from St. Louis. He could have won 50000 off of that guy. He's got nothing but money to lose. Uh, Rob and I just kind of looked at each other and I thought, holy God, we just missed the, we just had the perfect chance to win the mother load and didn't know better. And so we, we laughed about that for years. Uh, we, we let a, a $50,000 guy off for 800 yeah. So, but and, uh, and thought you did good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, a, and a Rob went on to uh, Rob went on to play. Um, that eight looks um, like it goes. Oh yeah, what oh, a what a break the, by Rob, who, Rob here. Who is the famous uh, one pocket player? Um, he went on to play for the winter side. He lost Hill Hill for the winter side in that tournament, and then uh, lost to another really great player. He got third place in that tournament. We won a lot of money off the of, uh, Cliff Joiner. He okay. lost to Cliff Joyner. He had a combination to win the match, and he rattled the combo, and Cliff shot it in and won Hill Hill. Wow. wow. Yeah. Rob's, yeah. Rob's on a roll here. Yeah, like Rob's getting roll. fast and loose. Oh, he had a yeah. great break there. Yep. 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 That break, if he keeps breaking like that, he's, uh, he's going to do tough, good. Tough to beat. I played him in that challenge match series with that CRs there, and I was up 4-1 to one on him. And, uh, race to 11. Yeah, that yeah. race to 11, and I'm like, all right, this is it. I, I'm playing good. I'm I'm taking a tool. Mm -hmm. And I think I got, like, uh, one shot in, like, six games from a dead lockup safety. Mm -hmm. And uh, he his break was going really well. He ran. Yeah. He ran. I think it might have even been more, six or seven on me. With, and I had one shot from a safety. He played super well again. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this out there. So when Rob and I were traveling around together, we when I started working on pool tables, Rob was learning with me. We did we learned together, right? And we did tables for years together. And we so we traveled around tournaments and stuff like that. I asked Rob one time. I said, "Playing conditions. What is your favorite playing conditions?" I said, "You like fast tables, slow tables?" He like oh, he says, broke. "Yeah, I'm I'm dry here." Rob says, "I like the tables to play fast." I said, how, "I mean, how fast?" He goes, "Like glass." Rob likes to play at tables to play like glass. Now, earlier in a couple matches, we talked about this table, how it was a little bit slippery and it was newly recovered. If Rob gets a, out in the open here, if he gets comfortable on this table. Right, he then, just uh, came up dry here, though. Yeah, yep. I see that. Yeah. He's, I, uh, I'm going to say that uh, Rob getting dialed in on this table could be a big problem for her, whoever he plays. So the question came up, what Q Rob used? Yes, uh, David Eckert is correct, I believe. Jacoby with the Odin shaft. Okay. Yep, he's got, uh, no, not no. Odin. It's uh, no, it's Odin. Oh, it is, I, yes. I asked Palmer's, him this morning, Palmer's, yeah. Yes, Palmer's old Odin, yep. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he uses, I think, the Odin for break Q2. It's on a Predator, but, uh, yeah, he's... Uh, Someone's asking who's commentating. Uh, this is uh, Chris Brinke. I do the uh, Midwest Q Sports. Um, I got a picture here that somebody took of the other two guys. Oh, this man. is uh, Cotton and Pepper. <laughs> I'm the one on the, with the green shirt. Yep. yep, nice. I get to be the handsome. Co Cotton and Pepper First are here me. joining me. My hair looks just like that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have that permanent face too. Yeah, <laughs> I love that movie. Yeah. Average Joe's. That might be the best movie ever. Ever best spoof B movie ever. Dodge yeah. a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah, I love that movie. It's funny. Uh, I was just talking to a couple people about how many viewers we got right now. Uh, we got 198. Holy nice. cow! I don't know Whoa. if I understand that. Um, I didn't uh, catch what happened there, but he, I. I I think what he tried to do is go into the Naima did he, and open up the pocket down here. Did he have to? Or? Uh, he didn't have to. It turned out just fine, but it was yeah. fraught with peril right there. He probably figured it was impossible to scratch there, and he almost did. He almost did. Yeah, that English almost twisted him in. Right. He's still going to. Um, his real trouble ball is the two ball over here by the 15. 
Um, and I'm betting he banks that ball. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I think he winds up banking that ball in the side pocket. How do you like out. playing this pattern right here? Well, I th you know he's gonna I based on the idea of him banking that ball. I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna shoot this four ball float over, shoot the five in the side pocket, and then he's gonna bank. He's gonna he's cutting us in the side. Well, gotta I'm, take that he's six. Gonna, all right, ladies and gentlemen, oh. I know nothing about pool. Oh look at he almost yeah, broke. Yeah. I could have told you that, Tony. He's gonna now he's gonna go into the bottom of that. <laughs> now he's perfect. Ball. Yeah. Now he's gonna go into the bottom of that fifteen. How do you like falling into that shape, huh? Oh my gosh. I feel like this is like Christmas morning, huh? Trying to get fast yeah. and loose. <laughs> look at this. I this mean feels... he's gonna he's gonna go right around the fifteen. Kick the two. Even if he bumps the fifteen, he's gonna I think he's going right around it. He's going to get shape on the five here. Watch this. Yeah. Five, there you go. Oh, I feel like this is an attempt at getting fast and loose. Yeah. Maybe like, hey, I've been Now it's just if he has too much angle table. on that five. He's fine. He'll roll this and go between the window, between the, yeah. fifth, the right. 15 and the I mean, it's yeah. a little Should. tighter window, but yeah, will be fine. He's so smooth. The guy, the guy is like, <laughs> you know, this is, this like, is, but, uh, yeah, this is when you play four, five, six hours a day, yeah. this shot's yeah. nothing. See, he didn't even go there and look at it. He was so no, confident. No, this is nothing. Right. Yeah. Like, it's a big window. For me, to get that window, I'd be like, okay. You're going to walk over there and look at it. First. Yeah, don't, don't overhit this. Don't underhit this, you know. But no. Uh, you'd be out here too, Timmy. Yep, that was a good out. Very good. Look up, Tony. Oh, too late. What happened? Tony, Tony was looking down. What happened? I was I was social mediaing. I'm getting text messages had, while I'm streaming. We had some paparazzi here taking our picture. Paparazzi. I like that song. So here's the deal. We got a three to two match now. Yeah, it's we got a match. Danny breaking. We got a match. I it's wish this was a race to seven. I really do. Can we ask him to play extra game? Yeah. No? <laughs> I don't know. We we can ask Rich here. Rich is standing right here. They can play one more game. It's a winner side. Race of six just for this. It's a winner side. Well, Charlie, we're we gonna just get don't done by minute? talking. Yeah, I'll be real honest with you. Uh, I think Charlie's amazing. You should have well, seen. Yeah. Did you see the Calcutta here? The Calcutta. Yeah, I did. It was pretty funny. Yeah, he keeps it going. He kind of prolongs it a little bit. You Some, missed it. I'm. I skipped it. I didn't miss it. I skipped it. Dude, I, I gotta say, he does. It's pretty. It's yeah. pretty funny. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah. He, so, he, I always, he I always is, lost money in those Calcuttas. I rarely won money in those. I get sucked tough, in because tough. I think it's I know tough. something, and it turns out I don't know shit. Sorry about my language, well, folks, but. Race to five bar right. all adults watching. It's so mm -hmm. tough to bet on that. I would, I, I can't tell you how many times I was giggling going, oh, I got a great horse. Oh, I can't believe that. And then, oh, man. I, how could that happen to me? I. I'm so sick of telling the same story. This tournament's got to be tough, though. It is tough. I don't care who you're betting on. It is tough. I mean, that's TJ was the number two pick of the litter. Yeah. He's out. Was and, he 2-0? and oh? And that's not a reach. No. That's a pretty yeah. educated his, guess. His, his game is yeah. so damn good. Yep. TJ's yeah. game. When Even when he's not up, playing much. It's, out it's, in Vegas, you saw what yeah, he did on some yeah. of them outs and big-time outs. Mm-hmm. You know, to, to how about win that shot? The, Did you just see what I just saw? Yeah, that was, I wish I had a replay. Oh, that Rob has bad, two trucks. Yeah, yeah, tied up two balls there. Trying to break it's them. It's a off. good break shot too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb this here and say if one. Rob doesn't get out here, he loses the match. That takes some. Yeah, that's. I am a brave. Well, I mean, Danny's prognosticator. Brave. Danny's you like to go out on a limb yes. often during I these matches. A, I am the bravest prognosticator mm -hmm. I know. I, I don't think it's worth even going out on a limb on that stuff. You know, yeah. just just let it just let it play. <laughs> just let it play out and see what happens. Listen, I can't be amazing <laughs> if I don't take a few shots. Yeah. So the truth is, the reason I say that is because uh, it's frustrating when you have the chance to get out and go ahead four to two, and then it ends up three and three. And the other yeah, guy breaking. Very and, frustrating, and, but yeah. I uh, did he get on the seven? No, I don't know. Hard to see. We'll turn it to camera. Yeah, he does. He, he is has on a seven. So his his he, biggest issue here is here. really. Oh, oh no! What do you do now? Punt. Yeah, you are in trouble. 
he's in big trouble. And he will be. Do we frustrated. have a good punter on our team. Or? We that. actually do this Cut year. That. Minnesota Vikings finally found uh -oh. the punter. Let's not go there. Yeah, yeah, I like the Vikings. Let's talk about them. Better than talking about that green team. There'll be a lot of them watching. Oh sure. yeah. Don't don't even bring, don't even say nothing about the Packers. I do oh. have my. You know the only thing worse than the Packers is their fans. Either in town. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if we want to go down this road, Tony. Yeah. yeah. I want to keep my viewers, so let's keep the Wisconsin no, viewers. No, it's okay. You know? they, they're, not, they're happy. <laughs> they like you. They'll target me. They've been doing well, that for 20 years. That's why I want to shift the conversation. Yeah. So. yeah. No, there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind. So what is he doing that here? He is. In, I think he's going to cross, go across this ball. And he's going to try to go off oh that ball. Oh, my. He did it. He, he did it. He called he it there. He made that shot. Wow. Robbie. So that, that, was, was that was intended fantabulous. to not only make that ball, but to open up the pocket, and it didn't do it. But he could still make the one off the rail off the ball. So now he's got a, he's got a little work He's got to cut this six in. And Boy, is that thin. He's got to come up. He's got to let the cue ball run and try and get around that 11. You to might get, get back me to up. cut this three instead of the six. Put that six and Can cut the three. I can't tell. No, no, he's, he's going off the, the one. He's going off the ten he's ball. He's going to play the one ball no, off the rail, off the ball. Right now. No, the six ball. No way, really? Yeah, he's going the six off the oh, ten come on, in the this, corner. Listen. You want to bet this? on it? You want to bet? No, I don't want to bet on it. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I'd shoot the one off the rail off the ball before I shoot six the six. Ball. There he is. This guy. He's, he's lined up pretty good on it. It's a good shot if he can do it. Look nice at that. Shot. You know what? Robbie. This in, guy's incredible. Went in like Robbie. a homesick gopher. This he is, is why he's uh, one of my favorites. Yeah. Look at that. He loves Isn't this. That crazy? He, he yeah. eats up this spotlight right now, too. Yeah, he does. Yep. He plays better he, when the... He flicked his finger, so you know he's feeling it. <laughs> oh, boy. You saw it? I yeah, you see that? that? I'm yeah. not as observant as Mr. Tunjum. Yeah. Hey, so we had a discussion earlier. Do you feel like you have clarified which Tanjum brother is the better player? Well, you know. Ju um, juice this off the bottom rail here. Yeah. The, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this trying is, to change uh, the subject again. This has uh, been. Uh, I like to stir that uh, pot. Oh, get up there, Kiba. Wow, that. what an out. Robbie. Hey, listen, I, you know I, I, You better just wait until he shoots us. No, he's fine. Okay, you're good. Hey, that is an impressive run out. The whole room is Yeah, uh, everyone's impressive. clapping on that one. Nice. Yeah. That's huge. That is an impressive run out. That took a that lot wins, of skill. That wins you a tournament. Right that, there. that is a momentum getter right there. And that call is by these two right here. Puts good them job, on the guys. Hill. Puts them on the hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, all the lines that I like from that movie have a swear word in them, so I'm <laughs> that is what it is. It's quite all right. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to get off commentary now. Uh, I've said more than you guys want to hear, but uh, you guys oh, have fun. fun. All right. I'm going to maybe have a couple drinks and visit some friends. All right. If, you wanna, uh, if you're still here later, stop yep. back. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll check in. I'll check in with the champs. Anything interesting going on there? Not, look at you. got a lot of viewers. That's awesome. He needs a ball on the break. Hey, we got two twenty. It's in. Okay, this my prediction. This is over. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, looking <laughs> good. And you're out. I got it. I got his turned off. All right. All right. Wow, he's got a. He can get on that. Get gets that. Charlie. Oh, fuck. Wow. What's up, D? Big D. Derek McMaster in the house. <laughs> Rob up four two. Yes, four okay. two. Missed that Correct. one. Sorry. He gets on this thirteen and it's over. Yeah, this is sitting pretty good. He gets on the thirteen. It's uh Looks like it's hard this, to tell if he can. Uh, this angle, it looks like he just rolls it up just a little bit. Oh, he's going to bump it. it. Oh, that's Good a be shot. beautiful shot. Good shot. What score? How much time left? He's looking pretty good here. Set to go a little. Perfect. 
Nice shot. Bobby's out. Yep. Rob's looking pretty solid, yeah. huh? Yeah, he's playing good. He's been playing really good lately. He's been. Who he's got him been, in uh, the. Uh... Calcutta. He went for a thousand in the Calcutta. Robbie. Yeah, wrote down who Ross. got him. Ross Crump, Crump Patch. Yep, yep. Crimples. 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 In my honor, no. No, you're off. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to quit you. Cut him off. I don't know if I want. All right. We'll, we'll put you on. We'll see how it goes, Charlie. All right, you're on. Crimples. Crimples won. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving for Tony Z. I'm just letting you know. I'm not moving. Yeah, that's fine. He wasn't going to come back. He said he had to run an errand. He's already worn out his welcome. He's been here for four hours. and You've probably got five words in. Yeah. Yes, Rob is fun to watch, Phil Boyer. Guy shoots good. Yeah, Robbie plays great. Fast and loose, it's fun to watch when guys are running out like that. It's more fun than the methodical guy that takes a half hour to shoot oh, three balls. I thought but, that was the other. Oh. <laughs> so Rob, Rob, so Rob's guaranteed second right now? He won the winner's side? Won the winner's side, Correct, yeah. sir. It'd be Danny. I knew it. That was a that was a nice out. That, that, that was a great out. That, that, oh, that was that, that was huge. amazing. I would have yeah. bet against him. Oh, for sure. He pulled a couple rabbits out of his hat. Right. There. Amazing. Great shot. But he does that all the time. He does that stuff all the time. Closes his eyes and just shoots, huh? Zero. All right, so this uh, this camera is on oh, that's good they can Mario Pereno and John Fields. Looks like someone's up 3-0. I don't know which guy is. This is a 7th, 8th place match. Loser is guaranteed 500 bucks. So the entry fee costs three hundred dollars a piece for the eight ball and the nine ball, seventh eighth. And one of these events gives you the five hundred bucks almost yep. your full entry fee. Yeah, which isn't too bad. I think next year he's gonna go. It was a little bit tougher to fill this tournament, and uh, he yep. thinks he just lower it just a little just bit. Two hundred bucks. Yeah, you know. I know COVID related was that, part of it too. That's for sure. There were some Canadians that couldn't make it down. Yep. Travel restrictions, and, you said. And some people are a little leery. Right. I mean, this is uh, twofold. Couple, couple issues going on that kind of stopped it, but yeah. Still a good tournament. Yeah, I mean, this Calcutta. I think it's most of a record Calcutta. It's yeah. Thirteen six. Yeah, thirteen six. What a good. What a good Calcutta, you know. I mean, you get a couple. I know a couple of the bidders are bid up a bunch of people. Yeah. You got. Apparently, they got money to spend. They well, just, you, you there's. I mean, it just takes all it takes. It's two bidders that. I yeah. Mean, right. Go crazy and it gets everything up there, you know. But I don't yeah, get it. It's crazy. I guess I got know? the wrong job. No, I mean. A lot of these guys are all going in, a bunch of them, you know. Right. Get a group of guys, and they don't care if it's an extra hunter here or there. I suppose. You know. But, yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, juicy. What was, I think, 6000 the first for just Calcutta. Yeah. Yeah. Third was twenty six fifty. Uh, I didn't write down what second, so what's the difference? Oh. 30% of 13. Yeah. They took 300 for uh, oh, for some uh, oh, four, administration. Four, but 44 something. So 13,300 total for the auction. 6,000 for first. 2650 for third. Yeah, you're looking at like uh, four, four grand, 4,500 or something yeah. like that. Carry the remainder. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. The, uh... We got Mario. Looks Who's like he's up? Who's up there? I, I'm not sure. Someone's up three zero, and we'll see after this game. Mario's got two stripes in the eight. Don lost his first match. He's still in there. Yeah. Playing tough. Oh, he's guaranteed 500 now. We're back up to 168. We were just at like 201. I did have the Facebook drops you after eight hours, so I'm sorry I lost a bunch of you. You had to come back. It wasn't my fault. The Mean Machine 8 uh, Facebook uh, kicks you off after eight hours. Mario got out there. I haven't seen him move a ball yet. The, uh, oh, there. Yeah, he's up. Mario's up 4 4 0, four zero on John. Rolling. Yep, Mario's been playing really well too. He played uh, he won junior the, in that in that challenge series. Yeah, he won that. He won that and uh, played junior in the finals and played. I was there and watched that. And, uh, he played great. It was a pretty good match too. It was, he yeah. he kind of. I watched it on the stream. Yeah, yeah, it was, so he's great. playing good again. He had uh, he was out for a while. Had a heart conditions or yeah. stints or something. Had a surgery done. Yep, and uh, he uh, looks like he's back in the back in the shape. Yeah, he's he's a great player. So you guys at home, the the names on the scoreboard here are incorrect. This match we're watching now, I uh, shifted. The Mario Perino. Yeah, Mario Perino against John Fields. Mario is up four zero. Yeah, I think uh, Mario will come in uh, last minute here. I think someone. Oh, really? Someone uh, couldn't make it. He he got back. Oh, in. like the last like three days, there was I think a few people that dropped out. Yeah. So Rob Matson won the hill, puts puts Danny Olson in the third place spot, guaranteed fifteen hundred dollars. Still quite a few matches to go here. Yeah. John's in a tough spot here against Mario. Looks like. Looks like uh, Michael Parham Jr. beat Troy Lebel 5-3 over there. Yep. Oh, Kevin McGrath beat Taylor Broughton 5-4. Yep, they're at 7th, no, 8th right now. Junior playing. plays Kevin. Yep. Let's see if... Uh, I'm going to call another match here on the main stream table. It would be nice. I don't know why he, didn't, why he isn't calling that one. I uh, must have just got done because uh, Kevin, got table Kevin two might have. On it. Oh. Yeah. He, sh he should move it to one, so we got a match up. Right. <laughs> yeah, scoot him over. I turned Charlie's mic back off. He's uh, got too many bowls of loudmouth soup.
Yeah, they called right. the grab yeah, match. I agree. A good match here. Next one will be Jamie Pluta versus uh, the winner of this match here, Mario and John Fields. Yep, Mario's up 4 0, yeah. so it's looking that way, but never yeah, know. Right. It's possible. Yeah. I, you can come back you know, right. easily, but I the, the, the winner breaks. Right, that's huge. It's huge. Yep. These guys are fully capable of running a. At least a three, four, or five pack. Yes. Any yes. given day. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Junior had me a couple of years ago. Junior had me down six one in the nine ball, and I come back and beat him. Really? Yeah. But uh, you ran the you ran the rest of the set. Or? I didn't run it out. I I just uh, I got into a couple of safeties, but uh, yeah, I was able. I I was able to. I probably ran like a three three in a row or something, and then I play to safe or something but mm -hmm. yeah it was i controlled the, the all the games so ryan the brackets uh i do have uh actually when i had to reboot i didn't uh, post a link uh let me do that for you guys you go on CompuSport and you can search seco verani invitational that's one way of doing it if you uh know the CompuSport app otherwise uh give me a few minutes here i'll once Facebook booted me off, I did a quick uh, description. And usually in my descriptions, I put the bracket link, but I was trying to get back online for you guys. See if I can go back on there and uh, update that for you. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. I got to take a little break. Tim's going to take a short break and come back. Apologize for not uh, getting that link to the bracket on t on the uh, reboot that I did. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Doug. Doug posted the posted the bracket.
Alright, uh, I wasn't paying attention, but it looks like they're done with that match there. Mario must have won. I did uh, just update the description of this live video on the Midwest Q Sports page to have the bracket on there. All right, we got a good match up here. Jamie Pluta versus Mario Pereno. Run a quick commercial here and I'll be back. For the cleanest pipes you ever see. When you got to, got to, got to get it really clean. All jetter clean. Count on jetter clean. Ch -ch -ch jetter clean.
All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry, uh, we weren't talking. We actually had it turned off. I had to take a short break. Uh, Tim Tanjum is currently eating uh, some chili. We'll be back on shortly here. Good position shot. First game there, 1 0 Mario. Pretty similar Fargo rates, as you can see. Yeah, should should have been able to still pick up uh, the balls hitting. Uh, I don't believe that sound was ever cut out, but uh, commentary I shut off there for a moment. So this is a fifth-sixth place match, guaranteed seven fifty for the loser. All right, Tim, I got you turned on now. Oh, okay, great. Nice elf by Mario first game. Make sure I got the right one for you. Yeah. Mario always do second ball break? Um, not normal. I don't, I don't He did second ball there. He did there. No. Um, I don't think he does that all the time. Move your mic up just a little bit towards okay. your mouth. There, there you, we go. That's a little better. Got it. What do we got here for viewers? Uh, 153 right now. Nice. nice. Been getting quite a few viewers uh, in Mankato there, too. Yeah. Yeah, last Monday there was like 80 some at one I point. Know. That's awesome. That means the Monday Night Football was not very fun to watch, I guess. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you got some good matches going on there. Kind of nice to see Mike Lowe playing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no Mankato tournament right now. Is there, like, uh, CNN or anything? Um, or is there this there, weekend? There, uh, not not this not this weekend, no. Okay. No. I'm surprised uh, Mike didn't come out and play here. I don't know how much yeah. he's been playing or not. I sent him a text. I tried to get Jay and Nate to jump in. I uh, mm -hmm. sent Josh Raines a text. I thought Josh would take the opportunity yeah, out sure. of out of any of them. Yep. And uh, he didn't. So he's playing quite a bit. Yeah, I think he's probably playing more than anybody in Mankato. Yeah, he's playing good. And he has a tight table. I know he. Uh, yeah. It's the one that he had at the Q Club, and it was I think it's four and a quarter pockets. I set that up in his in his garage. Place there. Yeah. Yep. It's got a nice setup there. Yeah. Does he? <laughs> tight no. little garage space. It's a little bit tighter, but it's it's it's. Not bad. It's, you okay. almost have full cue all the way around it. Uh, okay. He, uh, it plays. It. He's got it all. Floor epoxy. It's all heated. Oh. It's really nice. Yeah. Nice setup. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he's playing on that a lot. Yeah. Him and Nate just played a match last Monday, and uh, 
Josh was up. He was on the hill, raced a nine, eight to six against Nate. Nate came back and got him. <laughs> really? Yeah, on that on your old table. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, it was a good, uh, good little match, though. Yeah. I missed that match, but I was watching the other match you had there with uh, uh, Justin Boyer. Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. Yeah, I think they both kind of struggled a little bit on your table. Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah, it's if you don't like. It starts, not used it to starts it. Starts getting in your head if you start missing. Yeah, yeah. It's so tough because uh, them them four and an eighth inch pockets yeah. on a nine foot, and it, if the cloth is worn, it's worn a little bit, so it it, it is gritty. fairly worn worn right now. Mm -hmm. So it makes it really gritty, and that just makes yeah. it so tough. You graze that rail coming down. If you do it on the wrong speed, you know it's gonna it's gonna rattle. Sit up. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Uh, I was watching the last run out, and uh, it was it was pretty funny to watch because I know how tight the shots are and how you know under the pressure and it was a close match and and uh, you know Morarity got out. And it was it was kind of you know it was a good match. It was a really good match. He 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 loved it. He said, "Yeah, it was fun." Fun to win, you know. I mean, you know, Justin's a very good player. So, right, right. So he was happy to win, you know. And, yep. And, and he's been playing pretty good in this tournament too, with Morarty. So yeah, he's uh he's knocked off a couple good players, so he can he can play a little bit. Yeah, in those Monday night events, I try and switch back and forth from the nine footer to the seven footer. Our main purpose of streaming those are for the seven footers. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, people like to see a lot of runouts and stuff. Like yeah, that, he couldn't so make that ten. I guess I thought he could maybe spin that in there, but apparently, yeah. apparently not. Well, he. I think he probably could, but the thirteen is tied up. Right, right. So chose, chose I to, think that was a that was a good shot. Might as well just block it. Yeah. Block that pocket. Give him a swing at it later to get a better angle on the twelve. You know. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he could spin the 10 and, you know, draw back for an angle, some kind of angle on that 12 to break out the 13, but yeah, probably I, not. Yeah. I, I trust I, his uh, thought process. He's he's, he know, he's very well uh, seasoned, you know. He knows he knows the game well. This yeah. is a good shot by Jamie. Yeah, it is. He Smart shot. Ties it up a little bit. Gives gives Mario a nice little breakout if he wants it. Right. He, he might take it here because yeah. uh, the solids are tied up. If he breaks this out right now and can get a shot on the 13, all he has to do is get down by the first yeah. diamond on the... You think he's got a gap there to cut that? Oh, man, it's hard to see. I don't think so. Maybe. I think uh, he's, he's opening it up. I don't think he's going to make it here. He's just going to open it up. Oh, wow! Yeah, cause that was interesting. Jamie's balls are tied up down there, but yeah. now now he's got the four ball to break out the ten. Right. So he might be able to shoot the five here, yeah. shoot the four, and break that ten out right away. I'm assuming. Oh, oh he's, he's gonna play safe here. Wow! I'm surprised he's doing it this way. That's a good safe. If he got over there enough, it looks like he'd. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't like, seem he happy about like it. it. He walked away not too happy. He looks like he's definitely oh, hooked him. He left him a cross bank. Yeah. Up. That's why. That's why he's not happy. Yeah. Well, definitely not looking at the cross bank currently. About to see what he's doing here. Oh yeah, he's gonna go real first with spin. Wow, look at that shot. How about that, huh? That's a that's a Filipino shot there. <laughs> yeah. That was excellent. Well, it looks like from this angle here, it looks like that that pocket's yeah. pretty tight. It is pretty tight. Definitely think, doesn't go on your uh, nine footer with four and eighth pockets. Yeah, no, it's definitely. Uh, it might. The valley might. 
let yeah. this go in. These got the ridgeback rail, so they're not that easy. Right. I mean, they're a little they're a little tougher than the regular valley rails because of the pockets a little bit smaller. But um, the thing about it, if you look, pocket speed's huge. If you here. look where the um, the side angle, the slates, the slates shifted right towards the kitchen. So you think that's helping them on this one? And 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 that so that, it's shortening it up in that shortening corner. Shortening up the shelf. Yeah. So he might be able to, if he gets it inside there right. that jaw anywhere that might drop. You should have ran down there and told him that that the yeah. shift, slate was shifted. Yeah. Look at oh, that. Oh, it went in pretty open, easily. Open shot. Wow. He was trying to run into that eight pretty full, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, that was a good shot because uh, he had. Oh, well, he's got a bank he had here. Less than a half a pocket there. That was a great shot. Looks like it's pretty straight on here. Yeah. A little bit of a cut on it. Nice shot. It just, just drilled it. it. Wow. Yep, that that's a, a heck of an out three yep, ball out there. That was a great shot. Yep. Mario. Mario uh, does that stuff a lot. He's he's a very solid shooter. Sneaky. Yep. I I would have probably cross banked the thirteen there. Yeah. Myself, but he didn't even look at it. Not once. No, I I don't know if. Uh, it, it had Maybe you look, couldn't see I, it. I think it it looked like it went, but um, you know that's why I'm sitting here, and right? <laughs> commentating. No, it's uh, you know, it's so funny how you can see someone see something way different. Right. I mean, that's what makes the game interesting, right? Yeah, eight ball especially. There's so many different patterns yeah. you can shoot. And, is this the second ball? Yeah, yep. second ball, he's hitting them pretty good on there. Dry broke there, though. Nothing. Well, looks, uh, uh, stripes strip. Stripes look pretty good here. Jamie makes this. Yeah, he's got so he the, can uh, play that combo next. Well, yeah. The, the, oh, he's, well, got, uh, he's got multiple combos. Depends yeah. on how much action he can get off this 12 ball, right? Yeah, I mean he's he's on the rail and he's sh that that's a tough shot to shoot the twelve and to get shape in right. there, you know. Um, yeah, fifteen from there doesn't look like it's an easy. It's not combo easy. on the nine is it, what I was thinking, but he's looking at the 14, 14 first, yeah. Yeah, and it looks like the fourteen's pretty open, but you know it's this a tough is shot. A, it's a tough opening shot, and you got the heat on you down two zero. You right. got to come with something here. And, and that Sometimes. angle almost looks like he's got to drift up by the one, doesn't he? All he has to do is make the shot because he yeah, he's got that com he's got that he's combo got combo right there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That was a good stroke shot. He's been that was a very good shot. He's been over gambling, uh, playing nine ball with Mike, and uh, he's been playing for about three hours over there. So okay. he's stroking the ball well right now. Yeah, that got a little funny, didn't it? Or I guess that ten might go up in the corner. Yeah. He's going to have to shoot that nine, get on the 10, and then, oh, I don't know. This, it looks a little, almost, a little almost, goofy there, doesn't gotta, it? You got to make that nine and get that 13 out of there. Right. And then come up then, to maybe the 11. If that 11 goes on the side, it's yeah. tough to tell from this. Otherwise, you take that 10, does you know, not like it either. rail first, 10 rail first off the 4 or the 12 in the corner. I don't know. It's tough from our, from our camera angles. Yeah, I know. It's so much. Uh, it's hard to really. Uh, you Why don't know, you just run down there and say, "Excuse me, Jamie. I'm yeah. gonna take a look at this." Let me take a look at this, Jamie. <laughs> Push him out of the way. <laughs> the, the commentating is more important than you getting your shot here. Yeah, I want to see this angle. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, now if he was Steve Cobb there, he would have just bumped that 11 and separated them two on that same shot with his cue. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> Nobody would have saw it. Oh, Cobb. Except us, maybe. Uh, that's, 
That's old school right yeah, there. Yeah, he's looking at that 11 like it might go. From this angle, from that camera shot, it looks questionable. Maybe with some inside English throw it in there. I, I like it. I like the I like to get up by this uh, side pocket or by that first time and pass the side pocket on the right the right foot side. End. Yep, like right like there. Right there and it must hit, go right there. Hit that ball with inside English, and then yep. you got the ten, and then take the twelve, and then you right. got the eight eight corner of the side. Ain't no thing, but chicken wing on a string. Jamie's <laughs> playing good right now. I think he's still do it. So, Ooh. Ooh. That was uh, he, he's right. he might have still got that. Eh? He's just fine. He's just fine. He was flirting with disaster there. Yeah, he was. Well, he still, still most tough. likely had the twelve. And, yeah. Not now, but yeah, he's got. Uh, looks like it's uh, he's cheating that pocket quite a bit to make yeah. that eleven there, but it looks like it goes. I'll take your word for it, I guess. Pretty tough from this camera angle. Yeah, if you kind of look over here, you can kind of see it. It looks like it you can look, see more of it. Yeah, it yeah. don't look bad. Yeah, it's just the overhead camera view maybe is making it look a little more tough. Must be pretty tough. He's really... Uh, Paying attention to it. Well, he's got to he's got to really hold that cue ball, and he can't go past the five. And he's and he's, yeah. he's got to get closer to the five to get up table, and he might bump into that eight too. I, so. I still think the ten up, up there, you and know, that, off of the. Well, I you, think that still works. It does, but you don't want to shoot that because that right. if you bump the twelve up to per, the end rail, percentages are a little worse there. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I don't like having to worry about bumping a ball up there. Right. I just take to. this 11. And I don't think he can hold it. I don't think, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Sick of talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can sit here and analyze it. Oh, he just pounded it in. Wow, what a good shot. Yeah. It, Perfect. He didn't even look like he threw it. He just hit it straight top. Yeah, yeah he had enough room her, to make her, it yeah. that way. But I was thinking he was going to try and hold the angle yeah, and come back to yeah. the shape about like this. But Talk about good speed there, huh? That was perfect. That's a good shot. He probably knew that he could at least make that 12 there and then take right. the 10 down in the other corner if yep. he got around that with three rails. Nice shot. That oh, was excellent. Yeah, the people on the stream called it uh, in the chat room. Three rails, they called it before, before I did. Okay. Yep. Well, I guess they should be out here talking. Right. Uh, <laughs> I guess one Just person kidding. did. Oh yeah. No. Steve, good job. Yeah, that's a good shot. Two to one. Yeah, three rails there. You you got a window to. Get the 12 ball up there. What's that? Oh, I'm, thanks. Thank you, though. Let's see if Pluta can get some racks in a row here. Yep. Good break. Hit them square. Look at that cue ball come straight back. Yep. Put all the energy into the rack. Nice open rack here. Yep. A little bit of... Uh, a little funny on the 14. 14's the ball he's got to try and work on. You hit this 9 here and try and float into those? I would. I would just get it. I think you got to. Right away. Because the, the, then you got two other options, 10 or the 11. Yeah, if you can get in there... And not break hit that it. out right away. That gives you the best you opportunity it, uh, to get a good shot next. You don't want to hit it too hard, right? Ooh, oh, he hit he it pretty could, hard. He, he that probably. still works too. Wow, he came out, out came out okay. Like perfect. I, I went in, he went into the three really. 
I don't I, know. I, I mean, think he was trying to go into that 14-8, though, don't you think? I would think, but uh, he really maybe he was trying to remove. He went into it so hard. I, I right. I think his better. I think he was thinking he would get up table more to yeah. take the 11 on that shot. I don't know. Well, that was a good shot, though. Either way, it worked out perfect. Don't see any issues from here. No, he should be. Um, it's easy for us to say he's out. Right. <laughs> no. You this said is, it. This is so much uh, easier shooting here. I like it. Roll this 14 up. Get on the 10. Either the 10 or the 15. Whatever you like. Right. I don't mind shooting the 14, 10, and then rolling. Uh, he must have had more of a cut there than we thought. Oh, he was going away. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he could have rolled. He, he could have rolled up by the chalk. Like there. the second diamond, I thought. Yeah. Maybe not though. Maybe he had more angle. I, I don't know. Now he's got to go around table and yeah. around traffic. I don't. I don't really like how that worked out. Cause uh, he come out good. Oh, he hit it. He hit it real good. Wow, that uh, that works good though. Can't argue that. That wasn't real easy to get in between that eight seven. You know that. Real shape like that. Yeah, that was a that was a good shot. I mean, he had to come with a good shot there. That's why I was surprised he shot it that way. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, get out! Uh oh, oh, oh my! my. It froze on it. It froze on it. That was weird how it came off the rail like that. You know, it looked like he even put a little right on it. Well, right. Uh, what happens is. These valleys sag to the middle. All, all, almost all valley tables sag to the middle. Really? And if you slow roll this ball, that's, been, that's my problem over the years. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> oh my gosh, I should have told you no. years ago. But they, uh, you know, they. So you think time, that's just going to drift that way, huh? It's it drifted that way, and then it, it cut the ball thinner, and it just. Uh, it wow! Look at that shot. shot. Good shot, Jamie. He's just showing off now. Yep. The, uh, wow. Swish. <laughs> <laughs> it went from a really easy out to kind of tricky, but he still, he still got a, it done. That was a nice out. Yeah. Oh, it worked out good. He was all over the place on it, but he got yeah. out. That's that's the main thing. Makes it two two. That's a huge huge win for him there. We got ourselves a match. So someone's asking about the Kevin McGrath, Michael Perrin Jr. match. I should move that other camera over to that table. Looks like it's 2-2 two -two over there. Kevin's at the table. The first first game of that match, Kevin hooked himself and went on the eight ball, and he went two rails and kicked the eight ball in. It was out about a foot from the corner pocket and kicked it in. It was a great shot. Everyone started cheering. Huh. Yeah, it was a really good two reel quick kick shot. You should have seen it. It was it was everyone just started clapping. Who did, who did it? Kevin was hooked oh. on the he was cook, hooked on the eight ball very first game of the match and goes two rails around and the the eight ball's in front of the corner about a foot out and and uh just spanks it right in. <laughs> Everyone started cheering, clapping. He's he's out running out right now. He's uh, looks like he might go up three two here over there, Kevin. Oh, Jamie shoots the two there and ties up the three. Has to break the three out. Should take the one here and take the. Looks like a two goes up in the top right, huh? 
The four or the, ball? The three yep. ball, I mean. The three ball, actually, is what I'm talking about. Like, oh, up, gotcha. Up there, gotcha. yeah. Yep. He wants so, to get pretty straight on that four. Yeah, if he don't take the five and bump into the nine, which he would have to bump it pretty hard to clear yeah. the nine from yeah. the four. Um, if he gets lands it right on the rail, that is a good shot. Then roll it forward. Yeah. Roll it forward. That's that would be a good shot. Oh, he, he's he's looking at the maybe a six or seven to roll forward too. He was thinking, or he was he's like got, you said, maybe he, run into the nine. He's got options here, but I don't like running the nine. It pushes it in the way. Well, if you you, you hit it hard enough here, if you to, shoot to this, clear it, yeah, to clear it, but that could it could. Uh, it's going to raise havoc on a guy like me. Well, I'll tell you, I don't like to move balls if I don't have to. And if I can try and um, play position, I, I'd much rather you have a little more control. You just have to be yeah. precise, you know. He can shoot this uh, seven and get straight on the side rail with the four and roll up on the three if he wants to go that way. I don't I don't mind shooting uh, the so, only problem is, is if you shoot the five, you could hit that 15 coming up, and then you might mess it up. He's he trying to he get, was trying to get straight there. Oh, it kind of rocked back. Did you see that? Yeah. Let's see. He's just, uh, he's got a hair of an angle there. Jamie, uh, move he, out of the yeah. way. Jamie, move. Let me uh, go grab him quick. <laughs> yeah, he's got too uh, much. Yeah, it's a little tricky. You can put a little left on there. High left. Throw it, throw it down there a little. All he has to do is get past that middle diamond. He's in the way again. He gets past right. that middle diamond. He's yeah, he's got putting a little it. left on there. Slow left, right? Oh, he hit that perfect. He hit that good. Wow. Perfect angle to come out. Yeah, really good. Five ball goes in the corner. I think you go two. All, all things are good, yeah. You future. want to come around the six? I think you go into the six to get on the five. Yeah, because you're not going to... You should get a shot on that. I like the chances here. If he goes two rails into that, he's, he's, gonna, he's, he's gonna looking play, to play shape for the six. Play the six in the side. Yeah. Then if he misses that shape, he's still got the probably the five cut. Yeah, he's gonna play it between them two diamonds on the side rail there. I think if he can get right in between the two diamonds. Slow down. Slow down. Oh my God, he might have ended up perfect. Just about perfect. Might have a little angle on it, but that's, little, not, that's not bad. Little bit of an angle. He might be able to. Are oh, yeah. you? Down that far. Okay. Sounds good. Oh yeah, he was all right there, huh? Yeah, I was thinking he could shoot the five and then the six, but. Does he got a? He's gonna nudge the eight here a little bit, isn't he? Yeah. You roll forward here, you think? Nope. Draw it back out. Unless, I don't know. Unless he's, he he's, hits it too full. If he has to hit it. I think he he's got too much into the eight. I kind of like roll it forward with some left and hit that five full. Uh, from from the live angle, yeah, it looks like he goes right into it. If he He's looking draws. to punch it over, isn't he? He can't draw it out of there. Can he, can he roll forward, hit that five a little full and throw it in and kind of roll past the eight? With still bumping it? I don't, I don't, it's, it's a tricky little shot. He's, yeah, he's trying to draw it out. I, I think he's going to, I think he's going to pop it over. If he hits it too full, man, oh, see, that just don't, if he hits yeah. it too full, it goes right toward the side. I don't like that. I don't know what he was doing there, but. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, that's a, that's a tough Now he's kind of, he's dead, isn't he? He's got to cut that right in the side. I bet he was trying to get it more over here. More. Yeah. To get it for the side. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Yep, you're right. This is a tough cut the way it looks on this camera shot. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was a tough shot. Ugh, Jamie. Oh, yeah. Let's that's see. a tough one. Look at he tied yeah. up the 13. He's going to break out right here with the 15. <laughs> yeah, he's it's Mario. Yeah, he's Mario's, not going to do that. Well, he could. Actually, it's you think a match. You think a, Mario would do that? Well, you, you got to pretty shot at it because uh, probably not going to scratch there is he not, not going to scratch and he'll have the 14 or the 9 if he wants to do that he'll probably play safe though he he might just lock him up on the 9 right here. that's what i'm thinking 
you can draw this cue ball right into the back of the nine and leave Jamie nothing. Three, uh, three rail kick in the corner for Jamie. He could break <laughs> this out, but he's risk he's risking, you know, the cue ball landing on the end rail or something and then having a tough shot and leaving Jamie wide open, you know, on the eight. I'm thinking he's gonna play I gotta go into that I think. He's playing safe. He said safety. Yeah. And I think he's gonna go into the just put the put it right behind the nine. Yeah. Here, stick him on the nine. Yeah. He didn't even really worry about getting close to the no. nine. Well he put the fifteen in, in the path. That right. works really good. But Jamie's got, got a, a he's, he's got, got a one rail kick at it. One rail kick to try and make that in the side. That's know. not. It's, it's doable. Say there's about a. It's doable. Point seven five percent chance yeah, of that oh, going in. I mean that's that's tough. No. Yeah. No. I mean it's it's like. I don't know. He. That's he, a smart he, shot by Mario. Yep. Great shot. I think. Uh, Jamie's in a or tough you jump, pickle. Jump. I almost think he's got to jump kick this into the bottom right. Well, what about coming off the go two rails around the 11 towards the side pocket and hit that eight and carry it off the 13 uh, into the corner? I don't. No, it's too. I don't. It's up table. That's why I'm almost thinking you jump over the nine, one rail kick. Off the, the diamond eight. past the side yeah. on the side of the eight. I don't know. Just throwing out crazy ideas. Well, it's easy shot for us. Right. I make this all day from here. He's he is gonna call it there, just like you said. He's right. put he's putting the chalk down. See? He put the chalk down for the aiming point. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's a it's an old veteran maneuver. Veteran move, man. That's oh, Adam boy. Sandler at his finest. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, that's a. Uh, this is a tough shot. You're just. Uh, right. You're just. Uh, you. It's it's. It's really doable. It really is, but it's it's low percentage. Oh. No, I think he fouled. Oh. I think he I did. I... Oh my gosh. I wish I had replay working, but I don't. Pretty sure that was, I think a, foul. was a foul. I think it was. The eight would have came down a lot harder, you know? Yeah. It if pushed, it hit the eight it first. Put a cross. It pushed yeah. across. It pushed like straight Crossed horizontal. Up. It was a ball. Yeah. Yep. That was a decent try. That's a tough shot. Right. That was a good shot. But that's what he had to do. That was the yeah, there only was a, shot he had. Wasn't there much there. You had to hit it. Maybe you're a one rail. Kick in the side would have been a little better option. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's so tough because you have to really spin it off the end rail to to get over. Right. Swish. <laughs> Three railer. Wow, he damn near missed that. See that? I didn't. Uh, I didn't catch it actually. That that's. That All right. Yeah, right. there's a little delay on the Facebook. Nice. That's kind of nice that I look yeah, over you there can... and I'm like, oh, wait, that's a shot again. Everybody's rough, right? Yeah. yeah, I think we were just joking. He wasn't using this that chalk as an aiming point. Pretty sure he wasn't. But. No, I I don't think he he just he's not he's not that type of a player. He's no, not, he don't, yeah. he's not gonna cheat. That chalk didn't matter where, where, wherever he's gonna put it. Yeah, he's not he's not that kind of a player that would yeah. cheat. No way. Just in case anybody he's, uh, he's a straight really shooter. was thinking that we were we were yeah, joking. He, he sarcastic. Uh, he, sorry. He happened to set that down right there, and it and it wasn't even lined up. 
Did you notice no, it? It wasn't lined up. I looked from from the view. It might have looked on the camera, but when I looked, yeah. when I looked at it, it wasn't lined up because right. I got a perfect view of the angle. All right, I got to update the score here. Mario three two. Other match must be done, huh? Are they taking a break? Uh, Kevin McGrath and. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know there. either. They were just talking to each other pretty Safety. loud. It's safe. Nope. Didn't get there, but I they, did you notice they kind of talked to each other right before they did the leg for the break too? Uh, Mario came up and like was whispering, whispering in his, in his ear. <laughs> I don't know what the heck, heck they're doing. Yeah, I don't know. Making a side deal maybe. Right. I don't know who, uh, somebody's got one of them in the Calcutta. No. Ross. Uh, Ross got him, too. Yeah, Ross, Ross Crump, Crump Patch. Crump, Crump Patch. Crummy. Crump Patch. Yeah. He's got Mario for 900 bucks. Pluta, I don't know who got Pluta. Somebody got him for 550 Uh, I don't know who won the match over there with. Yeah, I don't know either. McGrath. Um, it should be on. Uh, yeah, let me. Uh, I got it here on the bracket. Let's see. Oh, Junior won. Yep. Five, five to two. Five to two. That's a good match. Uh, Rory and Michael Parent Jr. Did he call that up? He must have called that up. Yeah. That's five. Table five. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, he came over and said he's going to call that match. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well get that going. Keep the tournament moving, besides waiting for this table to open. I got in a safety game with Junior like this, and there was a stripe and a solid. No one took possession, and the eight ball was right in front of the corner. So he had me behind the like the two stripes here, and then I, I played a safe using the eight ball. I go, the eight ball's neutral still. And he goes, oh, it is? I go, yeah. And I, I go, I'm going to shoot it. And, and he goes, you're going to shoot it then? I go, I might, because I had to cut it thin, and it was going to go by the pocket. And then and then I uh, I hooked him right behind the eight, you know, snuck him behind it. He goes, if you would have shot that in, that would have been a loss, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he wasn't sure. I go, yeah. I was, I, I was like, is he serious? And then, <laughs> I think he was kidding. But, uh, yeah. Still no one has possession here yet, right? Back and forth. Nope. These guys like one pocket way too much. Yeah. <laughs> I can't handle that stuff. I'd rather watch paint dry. No, it's actually it's kind of a fun game. I've played a little bit, but I mean I've I've only played a little bit, but I like it. But I get too impatient. I just want to fire for everything. Right, now. run it out. Yeah, he's gonna freeze him right on the one ball here. Open that. Oh. There now he's now. Mario's got to do something. Mario's in a bad spot. I don't think it's very easy to save here. Oh, Jamie's got too many balls open. That's a that's a good shot by Jamie here.
Cleveland on that rail. It's a good shot there, right back. Good safeties both ways here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he could do that, you know, if that yeah. one if he was hooked by that one more. Apparently not. Kevin McGrath had a pretty good showing today, seventh, eighth place. Five hundred bucks. Yeah, I like his game. He's a solid player. Yeah. He's uh John Fields. He's a competitor. He yeah. loves to he just don't he don't he don't have any quit. He stays in it. Yeah. He takes his time every shot. He don't rush nothing. John Fields ends up in the same spot, seventh, eighth place, five hundred bucks. Sorry to the Wisconsin guys. Uh, yeah, they'll be back tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. John, John had a good comeback there. He uh, yeah. He lost his first match and come, right. come through. He won a bunch of matches there. Yeah. Five, five. Four. Four or five. Four matches you won. Yeah. I mean, that's. Pretty solid for somebody from Wisconsin, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. No offense. What a good rivalry, huh? Yeah. Somebody was in the chat room earlier saying that we should uh, create like a Moscone event. Yeah. You know, that border that battle. There's so many comparable players. Yeah. That it's just, it's a good, there's so many good. Well, you Wisconsin's see, uh, gotten a lot of good players, too. Like, I think uh, Iowa and Chicago, not Iowa and Chicago, but Iowa and Illinois um, do that every year. Yeah, it should be done. I don't know. Um, Wisconsin, Minnesota would be pretty solid oh, to do. It'd be perfect. You know, there's such a rivalry with football. Yeah, it was pretty frustrating to watch that last Vikings game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, but most of them are frustrating. I'll tell you what. I, I, I'm, I'm not a Packers fan, but I tell you what, I got a lot of respect for Rodgers. That guy plays. No. Perfect shape really there. Really good. Perfect, perfect shape. Good on. Good out. It's 3-3. We got a good game here. Play a little video here. Here's a Seco Verani video. the Seiko Verani video. I like it. The sound is cool in that. Believe it or not, I made all those shots in my home table. First oh, take. First take? First take, every one of them. On a nine foot diamond. Right. With three and a quarter inch pockets. <laughs> <laughs> three and a quarter. That would be tough. Well, that's a tied up table, it looks like. Uh, Jamie's going to go at the 14 and go three rails around and kick this one out, kick, break them out. Oh, yeah. That. Ooh, it didn't come out perfect. Uh, well, he still has uh, he's, he's, he's yeah. got to get what, what he should probably do here. If he can punch that 11 up. In the corner, or in the side? In the corner. Oh, it does go in. The, does go in the does corner. Go. Yeah, there's a gap there. I'm thinking if he can get, he's gonna oh, draw he's going to the side. side. 
he either way, if he gets a good angle on this nine, he can. Oh no, missed it. Dang, he shot it quick. He, he did, did kind of shoot did, it quick, he yeah. Did not he did. The, he had the angle on the nine to get the twelve off. All yeah. he has to do is bump that. That's seven. what he was. That's what he was going for. For sure. Gosh, he just shot that fast. Yeah. Yep, that was took it a little for granted a little such bit. A, such, I do that a lot. Simple shot like that. You get up, two stroke it. You want you're in rhythm. You want to just go. Your your first thought is simple, but really it's not that simple, right? Because that was kind of a, a tough cut in the side. Yeah, I mean. Did the shift of that slate I, affect that at all? I don't think, think so. I, <laughs> no. I think he I think he just fired it too hard into the face yeah. there, and it kind of bob bobbled out. What's he got here? Is that three going there? The three does not from the live view here. No. Doesn't look like it from the camera view either. It so might you know, be a safety. Yeah. Might be a safety. That's don't, a tough, kind of a tough save because yeah. he's got a. He doesn't freeze them. He's got a back cut on that. 12 I think ball. he's calling safety if he rolls yeah. through the three and bumps the four. There yeah, there you go. That's that looks pretty good. That's a good shot. Pluto's got a one real kick on the ten, or he's got a uh, or one real kick on the nine. He's playing safe. He's yeah. gonna just make a hit, try and get up table. He can he hit on the, hit, hit on the eleven. Yep, he wants to hit the top side of that eleven and go right up table like this. Look at this. Ah, he did a good job. Look at that. Wow, that he was hit. excellent. That was perfect. He couldn't have hit that better. Look at that, nope. he has no shot. Mario. Wow. Mario's gonna kick at the two, it looks like. See, this is this is where I'm using that jump cue all day. Yeah. Well, he does have a good kick at the two right. four combo. And he could end up yeah. and could end up drifting up here. I still am jumping this all day because if you yeah, jump I probably just to too. get a hit. Um, he's calling, he's calling it. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice angle that he's going at this. So it's a good, it's got a good chance. Ooh. That that didn't hurt him at all. No. He tied that twelve. I was gonna right say if he hits that, that, there's a good opportunity he doesn't leave Jamie much. Yeah, that was a good shot. That was probably uh, the smart shot. Be a battle at three three here. Yeah, we got this is gonna be a safety game here a little bit. Oh. Oh, that's what I wanted it right there. That's where <laughs> yeah. I wanted it. He got it. Not really like that, but that's not what I wanted. Probably picked that up on the microphone hanging yeah, above him there. I think it did, because I heard it. I heard it. We hear it a lot clearer than what the oh, okay. guys in the stream do, okay, but, gotcha. but they might have still picked it up. That's hilarious. Yep. Mario is like, well, we <laughs> well, this this shot here, Mario goes, if he can get by the nine there with some inside English and just get past. He's looking at. The, oh, he's going. He's got to hit this hard. Three rails. Four rails. Wow. That was tough. That was really you tough. You almost got to somehow reverse that English off the third rail. Yeah. How I don't do you do that, Mr. Science Guy? Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know that shot. I think, I think he should have went with a lot of hard inside English just past the nine towards yeah. Cuba Chalk there. And could have flown into if the... He, if he misses the five might get to wide, seven. he's got seven, he's got... But then he then he breaks it open. So yeah. he's gonna bust his open, play safe, freeze him on the thirteen. Yeah, good shot. Very smart. That was good. Very came good came out shot. pretty good. Yep. Mario wasn't gonna give away the rack there by by oh, opening up that yeah. twelve, that last shot. He could have easily called, probably called the hit three that. pretty quick here. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's tough to see. He... Tough to tell if he's got that or. No. Well, it's close. It's close from the live view. He's got it off the eleven or no? It does go off the eleven, but I don't think he wants to do that. Uh, he might. Is that the eleven or is that the? Yeah, he might go off this. Yeah, he is. I, I don't know if I like this because that eleven could get away from him. Oh, he no. hit. Oh, he hit that. Hit really that good. really good. Yeah. Well, he's uh, he's committed now. Draw it back and try and get shape on that fifteen in the bottom right corner. I don't know if you can. Uh, you know what I mean? Come up. Oh. Unless the 15 goes on that side, like I he's think, aiming at. I, I think the fi I like the 15 on the side. On the for side. Sure. Yeah. It's probably easier than the draw shot that I'm talking about. Well, it, that's not a bad shot because all Cause you have to do is get a, up by it. But then you're you got options. pushing the you're pushing the cue ball down table again though. Yeah. I think uh, just go one rail off the end rail and just. Oh, oh wow. He went with. Uh, did you throw a little inside inside on that? He hit it good. Yeah. I I might have just tried floating that one rail, but um, he was able to hold to to yeah. widen that angle to go two rails. It's is a good shot because you can hit it harder and control it better. This is a little tricky shot here, but he makes this and uh, he's he hits us with speed. He should get past. He, yeah, it's hard or, to say from this yeah, angle. It's hard to, yeah. It's so tough. See it. Need a new cameraman down there. Give us a better angle. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. hit that. Good. Oh, yeah. He hit that just with authority, too, you know. Just right. like. Knew Didn't he was going to run into that yeah. five to bump the eight out. He just, yeah, uh, he's 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 hitting them good. I, that's a confident stroke right there. That that uh, no hesitation there. Didn't timidly hit that at all. Stroke him right in. Roll this up. Give yourself a little bit steeper angle on the yep. eight. Go back to the chalk there. Yeah, I don't know. That was a little too steep, isn't he? He's going to come up for the eight on the oh, side. Oh, no, he can cheat the pocket. There's a lot yeah. of way. Or you can go on the side. Either way, whatever you feel comfortable. Yeah, he's going side. Yeah, that's a good shot. Good out. Good out by James. Yep. It's a... Uh, Four, three. Yeah, he's a... Uh, Good. That was a good out by Jamie. Four three. Those good. Got to get off the rail for him. Give him a shot on the nine. Ooh. Yeah, if he can open up with a stripe here, he's looking pretty solid. Yeah, he's. Or stripe. The I mean. problem is, is he can't. He can't draw this. Yeah, I know. He's too so straight. It's either he jacks up here, or he's got to go into he's got the thirteen. A... He's got to go into the thirteen. But Bob, the the good thing is, is he's. Uh, Gonna have the 14 next, no matter what, or the 11. He has to just slow. He has to yeah, slow roll this in, 
It that, sucks. Yeah, that nine is just too straight, isn't it? I I think he can cheat it just a little. Oh yeah, he can cheat this, and I I think uh, I think that he's not liking this shot, but all he has to do is roll this in. The other balls yeah. are sitting there. Well, with you saying that these tables uh, drift to the center, slates have a... Yeah. Usually it's like from end to end, you know, okay. towards the middle. So I don't like rolling a ball all the way to the full length of the table. Yeah, Too I mean, slow, you know? This isn't terrible because it's not going to really uh, move a lot. I mean, it, it can there's, if you shoot it really soft. But right. If you, if you put a little bit of authority it, and, right. and, if you can and cheat go this into a little. The, Go into that 13. Yeah, 13 there, yep. Uh, he's, 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 Should be okay. Even if he bumps that 13, he might even get a shot on it back on the other. He really doesn't like this, though, it seems like. No, he is not happy with it. I don't know why he's not. Unless he's hooked. He's not hooked on the 9, is he? Or the 6. No, I don't no. Uh, it Definitely doesn't look like it from this angle. I think he just doesn't like how straight he is on this nine. Yeah, it's a long, it's a long shot. He's on the hill, and it's a tight match. You just jack up on this and fire it because you have op. I mean, you you can cheat it to the left or right if you miss hit it just I'm, a little, and it I'm, still goes. I'm not gonna hit it low here. No. I'm just gonna jack up and, and or, try and or just smooth it in. Try and brush that thirteen there. Yeah, smooth it in. You. You can't really scratch unless you follow it straight in. If you, if you, oh, it, it's it's more straight in than it appears on the video. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Otherwise, yeah, because he's um, he uh, kind of he he called the corner and uh, kind of had a smile on his face. Like it, it must be awkward. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, he's really thinking. He don't like it. He's even calling a ref. Was he hooked on the, with the six ball or what? Oh, he, he wasn't calling a ref. He was just looking for no. Mario, who's kind no, of standing call, over by us. Call him the nine ball. I don't know why you'd have to call it. Too much know you're shooting that shot. Oh. Oh. He must have been hooked. He, yeah, he was have. he must have been hooked on the six, huh? Unless he was so straight in he couldn't really cheat it and wasn't gonna but shoot his still, skull. Still. I don't know. I think on that Ah, man. Needed another camera down there to see if he was hooked. Mario walks up to the table and he, what did he looks say? around and he's like, Where's my cue? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is up with that? Man, yeah, that seemed kind of strange to me. We'll have to ask him after this match. Yeah. Worst case scenario is you jack up on that and just pound that nine in, right? That's worst case scenario. Uh, it's, but, it's, uh, well, obviously the worst yeah. case was what just happened. But. Yeah. I guess it's hard to say what, what yeah. the deal was. Like he's all right. Go to the top view. Yeah, Mario. Mario's on here. And yeah, he looks like he's looking really good here.
Hill Hill. Here we are. Definitely will have to ask Jamie, no matter what happens here, what kind of shot he had on that nine ball. Just wait. Play. I'll wait. Tom. One one more game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I let him play. Uh, he's got to take solids but, uh, here. That seven goes. He's uh, wide open, yeah. and it does. Six, I think six ball. He's pretty wide open here. Yeah, six ball. He's got to go two rails out for the two rails. Two or one rail out for the five. Depends on how straight table. he is on that six. He's got a little angle the correct way. Oh, I think I think, I think he he's is just pretty fine. straight. He still might be able to go two rails here now. It's it's a little No, he's it looks like the angle is he's coming away, so it right. should be okay. Might be going the right direction. It's pretty straight though. I think it's lined you could up cheat it the and, right side um, of the pocket. You could cheat it and try and bump into that four ball. You know what I mean? Like hit it hard, punch out. I think he's gonna Or is he gonna go, he's gonna go it, forward? Punch it over by the nine. Yeah, he had a little, yeah. he had more angle. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, this is pretty wide open now. Yep, just get down on that. Um, I like to get down right on the four ball right now. Yep. Stop shot on, the, if you get straight in on the yeah. four, stop shot on the one. Right. And then you can yeah. take the. Even the seven can be the last ball if he needs it to be. Yep, for sure. Take this four, one. Yeah, it's not looking good for Jamie. Nope, four, one. Either the four or stop shot on the one right here. Oh, he's taking the two. I don't know if he meant to. Was that an accidental uh, draw stroke there? No, I think he. I think he played it just like that to take the two. Yeah, yeah. From this angle, it's, roll he, up. I mean, he's fine. Yeah, he's, just roll up yeah. to the side rail with the two ball and take the one and draw it up for yeah. the three. I feel like he didn't. He, he either want he either wanted to get more draw or less draw there. I think you're right. I think he did screw yeah. up a little bit. Yeah, because he wouldn't be he wouldn't be thinking about it. He wouldn't be thinking right now. He'd have got up and fired. Yeah. He he's got to take. The Two now, get to the side rail and get that, good. He wants to get good on this. On the one ball? One, but he's got to shoot this low. Well, he could have an angle. side rail. He Just could have an angle on the one to go two rails out for the three. Oh, he, he, yeah. Oh, he hit that good. He hit that on. hard. Uh, yeah. Now he's going to go seven, three, one, eight ball, huh? Yeah, as long as he gets up by the closer to the 15 ball, he's fine, but. He's got to get. He's got to make sure he draws it enough. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. It's better than being short, you know. Right. Now he can go off, down off the end rail, and back up to the middle of the table. Yeah. It was a, that was a little bit much, though. Yeah. It's a little. I don't know. Beat he shot. might. He might have. Is he the, going corner? Or? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he was. He did have it. Wow. Yeah. Another, another. Uh, that's not the angle we wanted. No. He's gonna. He's drawing it right out of there. Looks like yeah, the angle going the wrong way. Yeah, Power yeah. stroke it right. Oh, out. geez, that grabbed. That grabbed a lot. He overstroked it. Ooh, look at him. Yeah, he didn't. He overstroked it. He, he just got up there Hit it and too fired good. that. He shot it a little quick. I would have followed that up off the end rail. Yeah, you could have, right? I, you, even even with straight top. You want to always able... foul before drawing if you can. You know, follow the ball so much more controlled. 
Yeah, hit, hit, hit that first. one good. He hit it good. Yep. It's a good match. Which one's my mic here? Uh, I got it right here. You're shut off. I think Tim's going to go down there and ask Jamie what he was doing on that nine ball. It's a good question. Yeah, I think if I can read lips, he couldn't see it. He was, uh, oh, I'll turn you up here, Tim. Yeah, he was dead hooked on ah, that. Isn't that crazy? Look, yeah. It didn't look like it from our stream, but yeah. the six ball was in the way. Okay. And he was dead hooked. That makes sense. I was wondering, because I'm like, There's, <laughs> that don't even make sense. Right. But, wow, that's, that's crazy. I guess, uh, yeah, from that angle, it might be deceiving, a little bit more yeah. deceiving, but. So what do we got going on here now? We got uh, Rory Hendrickson and Michael Perrin Jr. are playing on table five. Let's see if I can uh, move this camera. Cameraman 25 is gonna run down there and get a good shot on this one. What's it, 1-1 one, one down there? Looks like, yeah. This one's not going to look that great because it's so far down. Should have played them closer. All right. I kind of see the table. But he's, uh, I think it's 1-1 one, one there. 1-1 one, one down there. Look at that. Charlie's showing off his, his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> abs by Charlie? Yeah. Seven-minute abs. Says he works out every day. Sure got a beer belly, though. Yeah. You know what? I am going to try and move that slate down. That Are table. you? Yeah. All right. Hold on a second. Good luck. Watch uh, Tim try and move this slate. See how it's a little crooked there. We got Matt Benton. Matt Benton in there. Cut the muscles from Fairbolt here. Oh, there he shifted a little bit. Good job, guys. All right, go back to the match here, Rory and Michael Perrin Jr. I'm going to take a quick break here, guys. I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. Um, sorry, I had to take a long break. Tim Tunjum uh, is out for the night. So you guys got me by myself for the rest of the night, I'm sorry. Looks like we got a fourth place match here. Loser is guaranteed $1,000. This is Rory Hendrickson versus Mario Pereno. North Dakota versus Minnesota. So you can see here we got a little bit of a crowd gathering. Watch the end of the eight ball. break get this match started here keep the tournament moving this is going to be a late one
I shoot first? <laughs> Definitely broke well, but uh, tough starter ball here. Great shot, but Mario. Uh, so Rory Hendrickson uh, just beat Michael Parent Jr. Uh, Jr. got fifth, six, seven hundred fifty bucks. Down to four players left in this tournament.
Rory's got a pretty wide open table here, pretty uh, self-explanatory. Uh, sound should still be working. Um, I just took a little break away from the uh, microphone here. Vic Roars is going to get a 2-0 lead on him. Out by Rory there, nice break.
I think he's got that two ball. Kind of tough on this camera angle if he's got the two or not. If he does, it's a good opener for this rack. Oh, looking at the 10 ball. Maybe he's hooked, hooked on the two. Not the easiest of leaves, I guess. Uh, he can uh, drift over for the one on the side after this two ball, if he has it. Uh, I guess he might have the 13 ball. surprising there.
Try big break and uh, solids are looking uh, pretty good here. Don't see any major issues for Rory. That's good.
Good out by Rory. <clears throat> So the winner of this will play Danny Olsen in the third place match, guaranteed 1500. Loser of this gets fourth place, 1000.
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry. And I'm hitting a wall here. It's getting a little past my bedtime. Don't have a partner up here helping me with the commentary, so it's been a little rough trying to wake up here. I think we got a good one here, four to four. Definitely not in a uh, good opening shot here. Obviously, you can make two ball, but solids aren't looking the greatest. Looks like this turn is going to run a little late tonight. It's already late in my book. We got 121 viewers. Still got quite a few people here watching. Um, also got some matches in the back there going on. People talking a little loud, shooting some pool. Uh, Rob does not shoot the winner of this. Uh, Danny Olson shoots the winner of this. And then the winner of that match shoots Rob for the championship. I know Danny shoots pretty quick, uh, and Rob definitely shoots fast. So the last couple matches should go pretty quick. Not that that's what I'm hoping for, but... This match seems to be dragging on a little bit. <clears throat> Definitely sitting tough here. Don't believe he's got the five in that corner. Looking like the three ball in that corner, but uh, there is a little gap there. Maybe he can get that five past that three. I would say Rory is fairly quick when the when the table's pretty wide open. Uh, Good shot there. Looks like the eight ball should be available in that corner. A 
looking at that 6-1 combo like it might go. Looks like he's showing that it's a little bit of an off angle, but if he pushes into that six at that angle, he had his cue there. Maybe throw that one into the corner. Yeah, it doesn't like to be jacked up here, but might be all right yet. Just gotta hope that six drifts up by the rail, still gives him a shot on it. Jump on or no? Okay. Yeah. We got Rob Matson sitting by me here. He doesn't want to get on the mic though. He's tired, he said. A long wait. That's half the battle in some of these tournaments is uh, your stamina throughout the day, throughout the weekend.
Sorry, Mario.
All right, third place match here. Danny Olson and Rory Hendrickson. I got TJ Steinhaus in the booth with me. How's it going, TJ? Pretty good. Yourself? Not too bad. It's been a long a little, day here. A little tired. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Got a little battle of the borders here. North Dakota versus South Dakota. Yeah. Where did you break from there? Should be a good matchup. Where did you hit that rack from? I don't know how too often these guys match up, but the times that they have, it's always been pretty close. Has it? Neither one of them's really blown each other out. So. Yeah, I don't recall seeing them play each other in, in the past. Probably in this tournament, they've probably played, huh? Yeah. Quite a few times. We got Kevin Moriarty joining us as well. Hello. How you doing, Kevin? Good. How are you doing? All right. It's nice to see you again. It's been a while. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. I had a problem figuring out the break this, this tournament, too. I tried second ball break a couple of times, but I don't you, know. Do you, how often do you change your break to second ball? If I really don't ever do second ball break. No. I'll switch it around a little bit with head ball, but mainly it's just about the speed. Today, I just couldn't figure it out. Danny's got a little work to do, but the fortunate thing is that he's got ball in hand. So. Right. That's one good thing about this tournament to speed it up a little bit. Yeah. Take ball in hand anywhere after the break to scratch. I'm pretty sure two of the games that I played and I took pitches because I wasn't paying attention to the <laughs> ball in hand. I'm not joking. <laughs> we also got Kevin Moriarty joining us. Danny didn't really have to do that because that eight ball went in the side pocket, I think. But now he's going to have to, realistically, you want to save that 11 ball to get on that eight. But right. Now he's going to have to figure out a different way to get on it, maybe use the 15 and sneak through the one and four. But yeah. He didn't really have to move anything. I try to draw into this ball and break it out a little bit. I think that's what he was just looking at. But, I mean, kind of asking for a lot. Right. He's gonna be hitting to the five. It's gonna go into the four. Got to hit with authority, and, uh, and now that can happen. Right. I think the fifteen probably does go on that side, but the fi yeah, it looks like the fifteen can go, but there's chances that. It can't go if that one ball is frozen up on the high side of it, on the high side towards that top side pocket. But it looks like yeah, it, what is it? it doesn't look like they're frozen. Oh, I'm stuffing this camera shot. Yeah, from there, from there it goes pretty clean. Still got a little bit of work to do though. Yeah, and he's obviously gonna have to take the ten from there. And then probably draw out, take the 15 and bump the 4, and then take the 9, 14. Oh, wow. He just hit everything really hard. <laughs> he went aggressive with it. He didn't yeah, have he to did. do that at all. I don't know. Looks like it still probably goes. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to try that 15. No, I don't know if there's a gap there. Looking at it. Otherwise, put that 14 on. He can make the 15. The only thing that he's probably worried about is putting the miles on the cue ball because that cue ball is going to fly around the table. Yep. A lot of bad things can happen there. And I'd probably prefer to shoot that over to taking, cutting that 14, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I would too if it's makeable. Wow. Look at look at all that stuff that just happened. There. Right. I mean, there's a lot of bad things that can go from that, and a lot of good things. Yeah. And honestly, a bad thing just happened. Right. Turned out pretty bad. It looks like. Now I don't even know if he has enough rail. Yeah, I don't to know. To play if he rail does. first and make that ball. It's close. He definitely will be cheating it into that right side of that pocket. Seems like from this angle, if he's got enough rail. Gets enough. Yeah, he might have enough rail there. Ooh, just had just barely got by that. Just thin the that was thin a good shot. That two ball. Now he's got a. Now he's got to roll. You got to roll that fourteen in. You got a big pocket there with yeah. the six ball. You can play that rail first and play it out the six. A lot of guys actually plan for that big pocket, but then as soon as they hit it, they hit it dead center of that pocket. Right, right. Just a little mind trick. A little unorthodox, but it uh, looks like Danny should go up one nothing. Definitely had to do a lot of work for that one. Yeah. Ran into it a lot. What's the the most uh, packages that somebody's ran today on the stream, Gunner? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe ran four or five, ran the set? I don't. To tell you the truth, I don't think so. No. I would say at the tops it might have been three, but I, I almost think that didn't even happen. Really? Tables seem like they're breaking a little tough. Actually, if you, I mean, a couple of these tables, the pockets look a little funky, like the cuts on them. Yeah, like this one, uh, earlier this slate was shifted a little bit, and Matt Benton and Tim Tungeon went out there well, that, a few matches ago, and they shifted it back to that it's centered. That, that top side pocket looks just a little off a little bit. Well, it was a lot worse. Was it, was it, like really? a, it was like an inch off. I well, got pretty fortunate there. Cue ball had a GPS in that corner pocket, <laughs> and the five ball came around and kicked it out. Uh -huh. Could have been hanging at least. Stripes definitely look like the better option here. If he can make that 11 ball. It's tough on this camera angle, but it looks like he's spinning it in. He might be able to shoot straight in.
me see if Tony Z must have a couple of drinks in him. Yeah. Com- commenting on the right on the stream. There you go. Two bowls of loudmouth soup. Yep. What's up? Ooh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not sure. His thought process behind that. Just that 11 ball went. He really didn't have to do that shot. He could have taken the, the, I don't, the I don't, 11 first. I don't think. Uh, I don't think he had it. He ended up playing it safe. Yeah. Putting that cue ball right behind the 15. Nothing to break out that 14. Unless he gets in the middle of the table and comes around three rails and cuts that 13 in the bottom right by the Midwest Q Sports logo and breaks it out. But I think he's trying to pin this and run into that four ball. Possibly use the four to go flying down there somehow. <laughs> I don't know. He might he might try to draw it down that rail a little bit. He could scratch too. Yeah. He was hoping that four ball helped him out, but No, I don't think he really has a good safe either. He can't really tuck that cue ball behind that eleven. He'll be giving away that three ball. This is a three goal? Three goes, yeah. Kevin, I saw you playing some matches down there. How'd that end up? I ended up making a little bit of money. Practicing my nine ball because I obviously need to. <laughs> so, it'll be an interesting uh, match tomorrow. That race to seven, it doesn't matter if someone just breaks and runs in every table. Played that good. Yeah. Covered up that three ball nice. Not sure if exactly that's what he was trying, but it worked out pretty good. Now Rory's got to come with a shot and get down there on the one ball. I mean, honestly, he's really not. Even if he misses that two ball, that's what he's going to end up shooting. Not going to sell out if he misses he's it? Not really selling out a bunch. So he follows it to the end rail. But that's definitely the play. Shoot the two ball, follow up. Then shoot the one next. If you can bump the 14, yep. you get the three to the side rail, and then shoot the six ball next. And should free it up. Should free up that rack pretty good. What's your Fargo rate these days, TJ? I have no idea. Don't, don't keep track of it. I don't pay attention to that stuff. It's just a number like your age. Probably like 850 or something. Yeah. <laughs> you might be a pool player for far ratings as good as your credit score. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. I don't know if I like that too much. I might have just sold out. Yeah, he uh definitely has I mean, it's, that pool. Yeah. It's a thin window, but if he gets that cue ball down by that, that diamond right there. Rory just sold out. It's a touchy shot, but very doable for Danny and anybody of mm -hmm. Rory or anybody that's really playing in this tournament. Wow. Went for the soft. Surprised he hit shot. that harder. I don't know if he, yeah. what he was trying to do if he was trying to bump the six and play the 
14 for the side, or what he's trying to do there. No, he's got to play real aggressive. I don't even think there's a, a good safety for him at all. I have to try and kick and kick it at the top left corner by the jetter, jetter cleaner. <laughs> Eleven ball. You know what he's doing here? Oh wow! He was playing that combo. Actually, was going right at it. It looked like. <laughs> Actually, worked out pretty good because I don't think he can make the six ball. Yeah. Yeah, he left him really tough, huh? That must have been pretty wired. And honestly, from where we're sitting up here in this booth, it looks like that three one six goes. Oh yeah, he has almost a almost a free shot at it. Using the go safe, huh? Probably a smarter route in from the game. Yeah. Then he's gonna gonna probably have to kick around this two ball long table, and then from there, I mean, you're still you're you might if you. Depending on where the cue ball ends up, you might have to bank the 11 and yeah. follow up for the 12 in the, in the corner that you kick the whatever stripe that is there. What he's trying to do here. I don't know. I like kicking at this ball. I know you're, uh, you're not really guaranteed a shot afterwards, but... Kick at it pretty hard, so you maybe right. go real you first and you, you have to. shoots over to the other side. No. There's really nothing else he has unless he wants to do a jump shot. Looks like I he's digging know. for his jumper, too. I'm not a big fan of jump cues. Not that I can't use them. I just yeah. would prefer kicking over jumping. Right. More control, I think. I don't know. Especially when... If he's gonna jump this ten ball, it's all close there. Yeah, that's a tough shot. No, I'm not that good when they're that close. Right. I don't think many people are. Maybe the people that practice every day, but <laughs> I just tell them to play better shape. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's jumping the eleven bank shot, eleven in the side. I think he's trying to um, play for safety. That's what he's Even if you make it, so not really guaranteed anything. Right. I think you just kind of like a. Yeah. Now that the room ball, the eleven ball is kind of screwed. Might be a lengthy game here, <laughs> unless Rory comes out with some uh, Efren Reyes type shot here. Well, the night is young. We have time, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Based off the way he played Mario. I think it's just dependent on what he leaves him there. Um, if he leaves him there for that, for that 14, he could definitely get back to that 11. Yeah, so now he can. Hmm. Oh, well, he just gave him the 11 ball. I think that the table rolled off. Yeah. I don't think these tables are necessarily 100% uh, level because I, I shot at a ball earlier. And I aimed at the full ball, and I hit, like, a oh, quarter of it. I I, I'm pretty sure that. he was aiming at the six, and he ended up hitting right. the one first. Yeah. Yeah, I he did just say was, it was a full ball. Yeah, I think that's what he was just telling Danny there. May have just cost him the game. Yeah. And very, very potentially could have cost him the set here. Right. So if Danny gets out here, he's very capable of running three racks. Yeah. For sure. They both are. Oh, 
Another reason I don't like valleys. Seems like diamonds tend to roll a little better. Kind of an unfortunate kiss there, but I think he hit that ball a little hard. Yeah, he did. He didn't have to hit it that, that hard at all. Rory might just sneak out with this game. Unless he rolls it up. Shoot the 10 to the side rail, rolls it up. I think he's going to try to get it underneath that 7 ball. You want to be up a little further than that. a little bit more, yeah. More ideal if you're on the high side of that 11 from the view that we have. Still not an easy shot on a valley table shooting that three ball in the side pocket, but it's very, very doable. He's definitely selling the farm, though, if he misses this shot. He definitely has to hit that. Pretty crisp. It's a do or die shot. Yeah, you, you got to take the three ball. I don't know what else he's looking at. I mean, it looks like he's trying to put the seven tied up with the ten, but you might as well just shoot the three ball in at that point. Unless you couldn't see the three ball. You may have not been able to see that three. It looked like it was makeable from what we were looking at. But. Gunner forgot to switch that camera yeah. angle on us. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Fall, falling asleep here. It's a long day. We get it. You going to be back for the Calcutta tomorrow for the nine ball? Yeah. That's a long day. Maybe. maybe possibly. I'll text you how everything's going around 4 o'clock when I'm out. <laughs> it might be even earlier than that. I thought I had at least, you know, granted that this is a very tough tournament. There's a lot of good shooters. Nine ball is not my forte. A little bit of an ugly game there, but uh, Danny goes up to rip. He must have not been able to see that three ball because I was questioning that too, how why he was shooting at that ball. But I wonder if he really didn't have a shot. Yeah, all these matches that... Um being played today, you'll be able to watch them on the Midwest Q Sports Facebook page. They're always saved on there. Decent break there for uh, Rory. I was joking with Jed Lampy today when we were shooting some sets over there. And he's like, what, 6'1? Just reaches right up and touches those balls in the markers. Like, I, I could barely touch those. <laughs> like, I'm like feathering at him a little bit. <laughs> I almost questioned if they were a little too high, but I'm like, oh. I guess I just need to be a little taller. Just use your cue. 
Yeah, you know, but moving them back to reset is a lot more difficult. <laughs> I'm I'm not that hand-eye coordinated, apparently. But that was more difficult than because it spins too. So you're trying to move it back, but then mine was looking like a helicopter when I was trying to get it to reset everything. I like taking solids on this table. Very nice wide open table too. So, the nine and thirteen can obviously cause some troubles. The thirteen might might go in that corner past the one, but I mean, solids you got a little movement down table to deal with, but you're not going back and forth like you are with the stripe. Did you got any uh any uh, challenge matches coming up? I got nothing. Nothing. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? TJ is looking for a challenge match <laughs> and will play anyone. He's making some money tonight playing a little nine ball twenty bucks a game. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he went as far as what he did. Or the guy he played. What was his name again? Who he was. Uh, let's go with the name Jerry. Jerry something. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I got it. Seven minutes? Oh, I got it. You don't know my ability. <laughs> Seven minutes to down your last beer, huh, Kevin? Oh, that's. Is it that late already? Apparently. Yeah, it's. They close at one. 12.55. Turn that five ball here. I don't know if he's, gonna, he's able to come out two rails on that seven ball there. Yeah, it's kind of tough, tough to see from this angle. It's a little straight, but definitely doable. It's going to be tight around it. Unless he's trying to draw it out. Little punch draw there. Yeah, that might put him in trouble there. No, he's good. Up you know, the thing with uh, having it pretty straight in like that, you're punching it. You never know what the ball's going to end up. A lot of these rails on these tables have been springy today. Definitely not making it easy on himself, that's for sure. No, he's not going to like that. Just don't stand too close to him, that's all I care about. Sailor, uh, yes, uh, that is their Fargo rate next to their names. And you can check out the bracket uh, is in the description of this video post. Check out the payouts on the bracket. Calcutta was pretty good this year. Yeah, well, what, what are the payouts? Uh, for the Calcutta? Yeah. Uh, 13,300 total, 6,000 for first. Uh, they paid out 50, 30, 20, right? Yeah. Yep. Not a bad payday for uh, first place there. Right. Or any of the top three, really. This is the third place match. Guaranteed uh, fifteen hundred dollars for the loser here. Winner of this plays Rob Matson. Is that fifteen hundred though without the Calcutta? Yes. Yeah, that's the. Uh, oh, that's not bad. The main tournament. First place pays three thousand. Second pays two thousand. Believe. Yes, you are correct. Mm -hmm. 
Rob Madsen, he's been hitting balls every day practicing for this event. He even stopped moving tables because of it. Here's the two he's been two years since. Uh, My guess is he's probably going to shoot the two in this bottom right corner, stun to the middle of the table, and then come around two, two to three, well, probably three rails because he hits two rails and goes into the 15. He might make the eight. And he's just trying to create something for himself. At this point, he's about all he's got. A little body English on that shot never hurts. Right. Huh. Gonna need some on this one, too. Fairness, good. Part of that yeah, he doesn't want to hit it too hard, does he? Realist no. Realistically, he wants to hit, he wants to come around two rails, well, three. Yeah. But he's going to want to hit that 15. Top, yeah. That side rail in the middle diamond above the side pocket. Yeah. Bump the 15 out. Hopefully, not get a little closer to the corner pocket. Right. But there's just so much going on in that shot. It's, yeah, he's asking for a lot here. That's. There's skill involved, but there's more luck involved with that shot than there is skill. Tippy, that is correct. You are easy money. I'm sure everyone would love you to join us in this tournament. Uh oh. Yeah. Exactly what I call it if it comes out two rails and it's a 15. Yeah, that was a, that was a touchy shot. He almost had to come on underneath it. He did more, more English. Yeah, Didn't have enough English. Should have put more body, use some body. Right, more that, body that, English. That, exactly. shot, that <laughs> shot before it. A little more belly English on it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's my swig. Oh my gosh. Those are fast seven minutes. It's always fast when you're watching pool. Right. I mean, it feels slow, but. I always play games in my in my basement. I always enjoy that. But the problem is that time flies when you play pool. People don't realize how long games can last. Danny looks like he's breaking above that head string a little bit. Oh, that's a little a little past. Maybe if he was behind the line, he might make a ball. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not be the truth. What do I know? I went. You're not a cheater, though. I right? went. I went three and out. What do uh, I know? Three and out. I won one match. Oh, you did? That's not bad. Who did you beat? I don't know his name. That's who I want to be someday. A friend Reyes or something like that? Yeah, yeah, something like that. I want to be that guy. I'll play TJ. He's like, I don't know that guy's name. <laughs> I think his name was Uncle Nicky. Stripes are definitely the ball to take. That 12 goes up in that corner pocket past the hit. Could be tight. Might be tight. Yeah, he was going for that combo. That six ball is the biggest issue right now. Well, man, two. Two can go past him. I don't know if Rory's just shooting balls to try and make something happen at this point in the day or what he's trying, but that, uh -huh. that shot didn't make sense to me there. Can you see the angle for that six past that four? Because I wonder if that six goes past that. It goes, uh, but this, that what that solids were not kind of hard to tell. 
I don't know. His big arms in the way. I like the stripes on that table. Or at least I did. Yeah, you're right. He is definitely trying for something. Well, it's, it's still going to work. He's straight in the six ball. Yeah. Almost snow. Draw, right. ba draw back to bump that eight in the open area. I think the eight goes past the nine. You think, I think so? I think at this point now it's just uh Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he could... Well, it you want to get rid of the four, so he's probably going to put a little low. Shoot the six. It's going to come back between the eight and 13. Shoot the four. Come around for the one. Shoot the seven. Then the two and the eight. Yeah, if that eight goes, I guess you might be right. That'll go. No. See? We'll, uh, this is going with my changer. idea. I liked it. Never be too cautious. He's going to need this game and a couple more if he wants to stay in this match. He definitely needs. Really not getting beat, more or less beating himself right now. There hasn't been a table run either, has there? No. We could shoot the two ball now, right. and then the one in the seven. corner, and then the seven in the same corner as the one, and then shoot the eight, which is probably the Better choice. But There's a stop shot on that too, but apparently it's not great enough. Yeah, and he didn't get up far enough. Uh, he still more. He oh. still can hold it though. Yeah. yeah. A little more angle he wanted. He's kind of shaking his head. It's gonna come off fast. It's gonna come towards the middle of the table a little bit, but he still should be able to hold it by the side pocket. Trying to play for that two over the corner there. Looks like almost touching that 13. Oh, that looks good. That's a good shot. Get that ball good. I'm just going to have to start back a little bit. Get the eight ball in the corner pocket there. Oh. I wonder how safe he'll play here. Perfect. Perfect That's job. Got the L4 after he broke that. <laughs> yeah. All solids look really nice right now. <laughs> Roar might be buzzing a little bit. He forgot when the cue ball flew off the table. Rory's walking way over another side of the room. <laughs> he's still searching for the cue ball. Oh, no, he's got the cue ball. No, he's just going to rest over there. Sitting by the guy in the driver's seat. I think he knows that this table might be over. Well, it definitely helps with bone hand right after the break. 
You're right. I mean, it would be a little bit more difficult if there wasn't ball in hand, but this is almost too simple for Dan. What if you stop it? What would your first ball be? Six ball? I would take the six. Kick into the 15. Yeah, hit off that long row, take the seven. And then take the three. And then you deal with your uh, four, one, two, and then shoot the eight up in that corner. Yep. By Midwest Q Sports logo there. Yep. Thinking the same thing. Take the seven on the side, three in the corner. Four, one, two, two, eight. There you go. Stroke. Put a little top on this and come around three rails, shoot the eight ball in that corner pocket, or you can draw back and shoot it in the side of the corner. Personally, I like going around. I like that top too. spin on it. Yep. Just like that. get better shape, even if he's underneath. Out. Yeah, Rory is punishing himself for that one. He, he didn't seem very happy. Which I don't blame him. And Danny is on the hill going to five. This is going to be an upper trek for uh, Rory if he does get out of here. But still possible. It's funny how you're talking about breaks, and I was, uh, you said second ball break, and I was using, I was head ball break and everything, and I just went crap. But when I was doing second ball, I was actually drilling balls all the time. I just wonder if, um, depending on the spot that you're aiming at, I mean, I think I'm a very unorthodox shooter myself, and because I'm unorthodox, it makes me wonder if I'm even hitting the ball correctly. Right. With my with my head ball break, like I just don't have the power like you guys do when it comes to stroke entry like this. I mean that's just beautiful. It's a beautiful it's dry break for Rory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But either or, I mean, I just don't have that pop like you know some shooters do. Not about power, it's about speed. Yeah, that's true. And I mean the guys that hit it pure and square, and it might look like they're crushing it, but they might only be breaking 18, 20 miles an hour. Okay. That's something I'll definitely have to work on sooner or later in my career when it comes to pool. Really not a career, though. You ever do a speed break contest, you guys? 
Why do we have to take so many pictures? Paparazzi here taking pictures. Uh, I know, also. like Tony Johnson for photography here. <laughs> Jeez. We're going to be in the paper tomorrow. Off of a camera phone? Yeah. <laughs> you never know these days, Kevin. Yeah. Well, I sure miss my beer right now. Wish I had another. Water tastes better. I suppose. Probably more refreshing this late at night. Yeah. It is. I'm trying to wake up. Yeah, for a guy that has to get up early tomorrow, I don't blame you. I think we all got to get up early, Kevin. Yeah, but for different purposes. <laughs> Gunner actually has to focus and concentrate. Well, we yeah, just we like, all got to focus. <laughs> you yeah, guys don't have me, to. Me, I just have to punch balls around and hope to God that I get a shot. Do here. Play it eight or play it eleven off the eight? Does that ball go? Doesn't look like it goes. Doesn't go. Wow. That was a good shot. Oh, very good. A little, eight, eight a little unfortunate them. there, yeah. yeah. A lot of risk, no reward. Yeah. What do you do here? Bank the ten? Almost after that's that's what I was wondering if that if it's makeable. Yeah, pretty much stuck with that shot. Yep, just pointed at it. Ooh. Didn't even threaten the box no, in that shot. Kind of but butchered that one. Straight into the eight. This uh this set might be over. Yep. Rob's pacing around, trying to stay alert. Big part of these tournaments, right? When you go out the winter side, you usually have a long wait. Yeah, for the most part, it moves pretty quick. But once you get towards the end, you get matches like these that yeah. take a little longer. Ooh. Probably a good 30 people here still though watching. Yeah, pretty good crowd. I think he ended up in a good spot there. Not so much. <laughs> He's really trying to squeeze that in between the. And an eight. Jacked up. <laughs> Over that ball, too. I mean, he's got a little uh, little lead going for him, so that helps him. But I don't care where you're at in the set. I don't like shooting that ball. No. I don't know what else he's got here. I can't really make a say around that one ball and make that five. Just going to. He might. Try and spin it though and put it up in the 13. Right. Just gonna put it up on that 14 ball. And the 
was a prolonged that was pretty game. <laughs> Decent. God. Yeah. Rory's got a pretty easy save through, though. I'm not gonna let him on there. <laughs> Probably a good idea. No. Charlie, you can stay doing the Calcutta tomorrow. We'll keep you off the stream. Charlie, you got it on backwards. That's why you're not part of the stream. <laughs> Yeah, it's off, Charlie. You're off. <laughs> that was a good chat. Excellent. Honestly, that ball ended up in a good spot, too, because if, if and when he gets ball in hand, he can shoot that ball into that bottom right corner and draw into that 14 and kind of bump it out. Right. No. If he hits this right, that 14 ball should stay on the rail, the one ball should kick out. The way he's been playing though, he might just say, he might hit this hard. Yeah. Better than he needed to. Yeah, came out pretty good. And if that if that one ball stops rolling and blocks his pocket on that fifteen, yeah, he's hurt, he's he's hurting. Yep. Pretty basic here now. Be a four-two yep. ball game.
What do you think? You think he's gonna break and run three? The way it's been going, I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna have a few, few more couple inning games here. I hope not. Yeah, put it on that arrow. There, close enough. Kevin's been over here commentating, and he's, his headset's not even on. <laughs> oh, I'm, just talk, I'm just talking to myself. You know me. We'll just tune you out. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> that doesn't change any other day, really, <laughs> for people tuning me out. Don't blame them. Even your students? Yeah, normally my students, especially. <laughs> Three racks. We need three racks here. I mean, that safety was really good, though. So, I mean, if he keeps playing smart like that, he could be able to do something here. This table and breaking tough all day or what? Um, periodically, yeah. Doesn't seem to matter what these guys do if they break head ball and crush it or if they do second ball and crush yeah. it. What's your option here there, Tej? Big stripes? What do we got here? Perhaps they're definitely, definitely better. That three yeah. balls, three balls, tough to get on. Right, here. due to that twelve ball being there like that, definitely easier. But doesn't really matter which which stripe you take first. I mean, obviously the ones that you can make. Stripes are definitely the better option here. Got a little window there for that uh, 14 ball, I believe. Yeah. Shoot the 14 and get up there for that ball in the end rail. Take care of those. Depending on where he falls, you can run up to that that first diamond closest to that bottom right corner by the Midwest Q Sports and shoot the 11 on the side. What are you trying to do here? Cut the 15 in? I don't want to be able to see that 14, I guess. I can see it. Based off that view, it looks like you can see it pretty clean. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure what he was looking there at that 15 ball. Yeah. Floor. Seems like it's makeable from that angle, but might be pretty close. He might come into the day ball in the shot. I was wondering if he's a little high inside. Careful shot. Yep. Now you can take that 10 ball, stop it basically, and draw back just a couple inches, shoot that 11 ball in that corner pocket, come off that side yeah. row and take the 11 or the 15, 13. Perfect. <clears throat>
Should be all she wrote for this match here. Like a miracle for Rory to be able to get back at this table. All already. right. Someone wake up, Rob. Draw back and shoot that eight ball in the side pocket. Unless he got a little angle, he might blow this. Is it over? Yeah, I think he's drawn back. Great shot. Yeah. And that's all she wrote. Now we got Danny, Danny Olson, and Rob Matson in the finals. Danny's got to beat Rob twice. Think it's possible? I think it's possible. Depending on how bad it's feeling right now. All right, championship match starting here. Rob Matson, Danny Olson. Eight ball, Seiko Verani, 40th. Lost my two commentators. Back by myself again. I think we got 71 viewers yet. Staying up late. Winner gets three thousand. Second place gets two thousand. I believe Danny Olson's from Brookings, South Dakota. Rob Madsen's from Twin Cities Metro area in Minnesota. Originally, I believe he's from North Dakota. He's lived in the cities for quite a while, I believe. Mm -hmm.
Ooh. Bit of an unlucky roll there. He's gonna try and freeze him under it. Good, good shot. the 10 ball. Oh, good effort. Not sure if that five goes uh, in the top left corner. Hard to tell camera angle. Uh, from that angle, it looks like it does. I mean, he's got a pretty open table. Good out by Rob. And quick work of that. Second ball break pretty hard, just came up dry. That's pretty good spread.
shot to get on that one ball there was kind of his uh, problem ball. Right on it right away. Good up by Danny. Apologize for the lack of commentary. I'm uh, pretty tired. It's been a long day.
That came out a little better. Definitely be tougher uh, on that rail, obviously. See if he's going to choose to cut it inside yet. It'll be a safer shot if he was comfortable with it. Or he was looking at the tangent length of uh, the cue ball path by going on the eight in the top right corner. Oh, almost followed it through that six ball into the corner. Good shot, though. Takes a lead, two to one. All right, sorry I didn't update the score there, but uh, it is two to two now. Um, good help by Rob, taking advantage of the scratch on the break by Danny. You guys gonna look at the uh, players list for today. Here's all the 32 players played in eight ball today and all these same 32 are playing in the nine ball tomorrow. A lot of good players. Nine ball starts tomorrow at 11.30, around there. Same time as the eight started today, after the bracket's drawn. Good looking break there. Wide open table.
Oh, we came down way farther than we wanted. Let's see if we can stop this on that 10 ball here. I'm a little worried about it. I don't know if he's got uh, that four ten. Let's just take a quick look at it. Tough to tell if he's running into that ten four or if he messed it a little. Oh, that hung up. That was a good opportunity for Rob to go up 3 2. Danny capitalizes on an unforced error by Rob. Soft second ball to break there for Danny. Came out pretty good.
Hey Richie, how's it going? Uh, Mario is not playing. Uh, this is the championship match. It's just down to the final two players right now. You can check out the bracket on CompuSport. Uh, the description uh, has a link. Description of this uh, video. Oh, wow. Of course, there by uh, Danny, though. Be kicking here. Is that rolled off? Can I see it on the screen? He's going to hit that two ball a little more full and actually roll to the left a little.
Yo. Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. Made out by Rob there on the hill. You guys want to see some of the past winners? Here's a picture I took of the champions plaques here at Seacoast.
Yo, nice job, Rob Matson. Thanks, you, Robbie. All right, packing her up. Be here tomorrow for the Seacoast nine ball.